are. I'm sorry, guys. There's already 800 people oh in this God. room. I'm sorry to make you all wait. There is a reason behind it. Look, it's Allie. People uh, haven't seen her on the channel in a while. Yeah. Hey, Allie. Yeah. Come here, cutie. Is this glitchy? Okay. Yeah. Is anybody seeing this and is it glitchy? Yeah. Because it kind of looks glitchy on my side. Hopefully it's not. Oh, we still have to like turn on a stream so we can watch it and look. Yeah, for it. I also have to turn off or turn on slow chat. Oh, yeah. I have to bring my laptop in here, so I'll just let you be. Okay, I can get it started on camera. Sure. Ooh, wait, we what have was that? Allie here to join it's us. It's glitchy. It is glitchy. Hmm. How do we fix that? I don't know. I don't know either. Allie, fix the stream. Make it not glitchy, please. Ah, okay. Can I just do that. Nope, oh, that cancels it. We don't want to do that yet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a while since we did our last stream. I don't know how to make it not glitchy, though. I don't either. Like, that's usually a phone thing. Yeah. It's not glitching. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. There's good. little glitches. Ah, whatever. Okay. We'll just go with this. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, welcome flight to the Flight leg, no stream. glitch. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, the reason why we're so late is because, first off, Allie pooped. Yeah. She so. decided she needed to relieve herself right there. Yeah. So, that was... A couple minutes of it but primarily we are late tonight because and thank you for waiting by the way uh we are late because we had to film two videos quick yeah and we started late so here is a little sneak peek to those videos as a thank you for your patience and waiting just pull one out oh what? Whoa. what is going on why did it cancel okay never mind just pull one out okay well they're all coming i guess okay baby carpet by yeah. oh you didn't even know we had some adults it's because we only have one adult. There's a different story behind these eggs. Uh, they're not from one of our breeders, but they hatched here regardless. So that's all you're getting for the sneak peek on, sneak peek on that video. And also, we received a ton of hog noses in the mail today. So we just filmed an unboxing video for those. Uh, there's from our fan Courtney in Washington, who was sadly unable to keep her collection. Uh, and I feel terrible that she wasn't able to keep them. But we can at least assure her that we can provide them a really good home. So we have a lot of new hog noses to add to our family here at Snake Discovery, and we had to unbox those because we wanted to make sure that they arrived all made. So that's all uh, collectively yeah. why we're like late. We have a... Are you gonna show albino? some? Yeah, we can show one. Okay, this is the toffee yeah, belly this pastel. this is a toffee belly. Look at that yeah. beautiful belly. Yeah, and guys, do you think... Okay, so we just filmed it, but does it look paradox to you? Or is that just... Something that comes with toffee bellies? I don't yeah. know. I'm not too familiar with them. You can see it there. Yeah, there's a black spot there's on the belly. Spot. There's a couple spots down the back that aren't poop. We thought it was poop at first, but it's not. Uh, yeah, so beautiful. But yeah, trying to figure out if it's paradox or not. Anyway, Courtney, your snakes all made it safe and sound if you're watching, and the video will come out in a while. Yep. We have a lot of All right, videos. let's go over here so I can verify everything looks halfway decent, get my okay. laptop out so I can put on slow yeah. mold. Uh, slow mold? Slow mode. Kind of smell like tegu poop. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just. I'll do... straighten this, and then I'll get you on camera. Yeah. I'll just do hand sanitizer. That'll yeah, just kill everything. Yeah. That's good right? enough. All right. Perfect. Oh, and Allie is sleeping under the table. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. We'll figure everything out and start yeah. opening mail here soon. Uh. So yeah, we figured it had been a while since we did a live stream man fan mail opening. Kind of because we wanted to start filming them more because we can put some editing effort into them and they're I think funner to watch. But with busy season, uh, which was the entirety it of never the summer, oh, it yeah. didn't happen. And okay, it's just Why? just a couple of you guys and me now. It's so weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just didn't happen over the summer. So we accumulated so many packages in our office over the last, I don't know, four months. I can't remember how long it's been since we did our last fan mail opening video. But the packages are taking over all of our space. So we're like, okay, we'll take, take the hint and we will do a live stream fan, fan mail opening. Uh, another thing that we want to do in this live stream is update you on some of your favorite animals, which is why Allie is in here tonight. You may have already noticed that we don't have Cheyenne with us here tonight, and that's because we kind of forgot we were planning on doing a live stream until, I don't know, whenever I made the community post like two hours ago, I think it was. So we don't have Cheyenne with us, but we will save any goodies for her, and maybe I'll make a community post with some pictures of her enjoying those goodies after the stream, because I didn't have enough time to go drive home and bring her here in time for us to go live. So instead, we're just gonna focus on some of our other animals. So we have uh, Tegu, we have Allie in here. We might go grab Sharon. We might grab, I don't know, if you have a recommendation of an animal you wanna see, not Rex, not a rattlesnake, 
It must be handleable and easily grabbable by either myself or Ed. Yep. And uh, we will try to, throughout tonight's stream, read comments and um, suggestions on who we should update you on, and then one of us will go in back and grab them. So Can that being said, Ed's attempting stay. to set up his laptop, and he's hanging the Don't cord. Don't worry about it. You're an IT guy. That, you should oh, know. Believe me, I've walked into worse uh, rooms. There's the Cayman lizard. I don't know. He's probably in the water. He likes to swim around. He kind of goes all over. He's growing. You might see him in the background. Um, Ed is going to try to set up the laptop so that one of us can read the comments as they come through. And he's just going to hide behind yep. the boxes in all reality. Bye. And uh, yeah, we'll try to catch up. And the, another goal of this live stream is to answer those questions. So not only bring on animals and give you updates on them, but if you have random questions, questions about the facility, questions about really whatever, uh, we are happy to answer them. And we will try to do so as we go along. So I would ask if you had any questions, but I can't see anything right now anyway. I'm just talking to the front of a phone <laughs> because we're using its phone to film this. And hopefully Ed will get the comments up. So what we're gonna do is I guess dive right in while Ed is setting that up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ed wants to remain hidden. I will start with this cute little box that was dropped off at our shop on a day that I wasn't here. So all I see at the beginning here, hopefully I can see the screen, is do not let Ed use this. What does that mean? This is from Eleanor. Uh, for Emily, it's my birthday. Okay. Huh. Well, happy belated birthday, Eleanor. I know it's been on my desk for a little bit here. Oh, okay, so we've got, I think, is that a keychain? I don't know. It looks like there's a battery in this. Hopefully I can, ah! And then I dropped it on the floor. Oh, it on I the didn't mean to throw it on the ground. <laughs> okay, I don't know what exactly this is. But, okay, we have, oh my gosh! Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, my favorite. Thank you, Eleanor. And then there's also a mug in here. Yeah, can you figure out? There's two of them. Can you figure out what the keychains are? There's batteries in them, so they do I, something. I thought it said I couldn't use it. Oh shoot! It did. Uh -huh. No, 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 oh, no. Nope. Well, too late. Mine now. now. Okay, we have a oh a snake discovery mug with Eleanor's art on it. That is super like cute. Really loud okay, there's oh. our. Did you figure it out? There's a a nail clipper. <laughs> Okay, so they work better. So apparently these are for you because you need to trim your nails. Yeah, apparently. is that a hint, Eleanor? They're actually really cute. They're little keychains. Yeah. I might actually put one on my key. key we ring. can't bring Taco out. I'm sorry. Oh, Taco, <laughs> you would hate us if yeah. we reached in and tried to grab them. <laughs> That's a good thank you for asking, though. And thank you, Eleanor, for these gifts. This is really sweet of you. I especially love the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That's going to be awesome. Okay, and those, those clipper keychains are sweet, too. Okay, I'm going to set things off camera so that yeah, I can... Now I can log into the internet. It's something. getting a little bit closer. So this package came in just recently, actually. Does it say NARBC on it? It does say NARBC. Oh, I know what this is! This is... I'm, okay, I was saving this for a live stream or something. Oh no, my scissors are way over there. Uh, I, ha I don't even have my box over either. Okay, thank you. So You're this... Doing <laughs> This was made by an amazing artist overseas. I can't remember. This is from Gemma. Uh, I don't remember where she is. She's in Great Britain somewhere, but I can't remember exactly where. Do you represent? <laughs> uh, but this is something that she sent to us to donate to the October Tinley uh, auction on Saturday night. So this is, oh man, I was keeping up with the progress on this. This is a piece of art. It's an incredible piece of art. And yeah, this is just gonna get auctioned off at October Tinley next month. And I was saving this for the stream, actually. Let me see if I can open this here on camera. I should have probably pre-opened it to make sure. <laughs> make sure it's, it's not something offensive. <laughs> something <laughs> offensive, yeah. She seems like a sweet person, so I don't think she would have tricked me, but that is I think good. It would still be funny. It would be kind of funny. All right. Okay. Live. So we have, and this is her business name, by the way, is, uh, oh no, Tripod. It's this little, oh, it's really, really tiny font, little old sketch. So definitely I'll have to check out her work. If you look her up on Instagram, she was posting updates along the way as she made this. Oh, there's so much tape. I'm sorry, guys. I, I swear, I promise the other packages will be quicker to open. <laughs> Just 
Slow mode! Hooray! We turned it on! You turned on slow mode? Yes, nice. finally. Hooray! I don't know how to do that, so I'm glad you did. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Eh. Okay. I think it's open, or at least open enough. I have live stream up here so I can see the okay. chat. It's not terribly yeah. get glitchy, so. Okay, we've got that on the inside. Hand-drawn pieces of art made with quality materials. Okay, we've got her info. And yeah, just little old sketch is her handle. We've got a bunch of flyers in here, which I assume we're also giving out at the auction. Let's see, these are, okay, yep, a lot of information. Just to flyers, handouts. And then on the inside, I assume we have the artwork, which I've been waiting months for. Oh my name gosh. is Gemma and Family. Gemma and Family, yes. Enclosed are two hand-drawn pictures. One is to be donated to US Art Auctions. There's two in here? Uh, with your next go, it would be amazing if we filmed it, but we will do that. Yep. The other you can do with as you wish, but please don't use it for prints. Don't use it for prints, yeah, of course. <laughs> So we could film this when it's going to auction at the Tinley Show and see how much it goes for. That'd be really cool. Okay. Very well wrapped, which I would do too if I came from off. If I was shipping a long ways away. I would like to be wrapped up if I was being shipped to the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know I'm kind of taking a while as it is, guys. I'm just going to rip right into it so you don't have to keep waiting. Okay. Two pictures enclosed. Oh, no. How do I open this? Uh, yeah, I'm this? Box. You think? Yeah, I remember it was an issue. It was one oh, of sweet. The issue with. There you go. You can scan that for more information. All right. Oh, and wow. There's a lot of sweet chats. Okay. What is uh, in here? We have... Oh, oh, wow. It's even better in person. Do you see this, guys? It's a hand-drawn garter snake. And I wonder, is that the original? I bet that's the original. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, these are wow. the Wow. Here's this. These are the originals? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. One is a grass snake. Yep, the grass other snake. Is, is it a green a mamba? Western green mamba. Nice! Holy cow, Gemma, these also, are so realistic. I fairy dragonets. Oh my gosh, Gemma. Okay, so these are going to the auction at Tinley. So anybody watching this just got a heads up if you're going to the Tinley show to a donation that's going there. So this one she wanted to be donated. This is the one that I didn't know was going to be in here. Uh, and to do whatever with. So this might make it onto our office wall. I don't know, it might have to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep this all together and then we're actually really gonna get into some fan mail opening yep. here. Uh, and we have more information here. I'm just gonna keep this all together, Gemma. So, uh, Link is in the chat. Hey, Link. Oh, hey, Link. Uh, he wants to know how the shirts he made went over at the... Um, oh the yeah, the shirts? Yeah, they went over well. It seemed like the participants, you know, they were wearing, the representing their own brands with their shirts. Uh, so they didn't wear them during the builds, but we handed them out. Yeah, so I know I have mine, and I think yours is in the car right yep, now. Yeah, mine's still in the car. Yeah, so we're planning on wearing them too, so stay tuned, Link. You'll be able to see them. Okay, are you ready to dive sure. into this? Sure. I'm going to open this one. That, that one came today. From today, yeah. Yes. I'm going to open the newest one, because that's okay. what I like to do. I'm going to wow. jump forward, because a little kid dropped this off at the zoo. It's a little Gila Monster foam creation, and it's adorable. So I wanted to show that off because I wasn't here when they dropped it off, and it's really cute. Okay, so there is nothing in this one that says who it's from, but they sent us a bunch of cool, like, mm -hmm. stuff to use for uh, the bins, like these awesome water bowl hides. Oh, nice! Uh, That's a bunch of reptile supplies. Yeah, a bunch of reptile supplies. Yeah. Oh my Some gosh. caps. Some small water dishes or food dishes. Ooh, or worm containers. Or worm containers. Nice. Some plants. Oh my gosh, who sent this? this? It, it came from one of the big companies. Oh, so. wow. Some individual cut leaves. Baby bins. For perfect. Baby bins. Maybe we'll use them for like the carpet bags. Yeah. So awesome. I'll set these aside because they can all be used Whoa. in the store. Thank you, anonymous gift yeah. sender. That was really nice of you. We can use all of that. Thank yeah. you very much. All right, I'm going to open this one so keep, from. Uh, Sorry if I missed Tara? anybody's chats, by the way. Oh yeah, it's gonna try to keep an eye on chats. Yeah. That's your job. Uh, this is from either Petra or Para in Australia. Wow. All right. Okay. So the, oh my gosh, and there's a lot in here too. There's tea. Aww. Ooh, really? Sent you tea. I've never heard of this. I've never heard of a campfire brew. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. That's it's right up Ed's alley. Okay. And then we have this is from. Oh, it's yeah. Australian. 
Australian tea? Greetings from New South Wales, Australia. I saw this book and thought of you. Oh, is that what this is? Hmm. Oh, we do have a book. Is that a shot? What is this? This is the field guide to Australian reptiles. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Okay, now we have to go to Australia. Yeah. Complete with bookmark. Yeah. Nice. So somebody's asking how olive oil is doing. Olive oil? Oh, oh, olive oil. Oh, okay, okay so some uh, sheep, remember? Oh, that's right. So olive oil, who was a beautiful albino Burmese python, she started having some like respiratory issues. So we tested her for nidovirus negative. We treated her multiple times for an RI and nothing seemed to really be working. And then she just randomly kind of passed away. So we got a necropsy done and it looks like according to our vet, she just had a really weak immune system and she just couldn't take it anymore, yeah. whatever it was. So we're just thankful it was nothing contagious at all. And it just said she had something bad genetically. Yeah. Something genetically just wasn't there. Yeah. So she had so, uh, RIs basically her entire life. Like mm -hmm. she had an RI when we got her tested for the, for NIDO, for NIDO. which is basically, a, a, uh, it's not curable, right? NIDO? NIDO, no. It's a virus that mm -hmm. pythons mainly get that basically causes them to have RIs after RIs yeah. after RIs until they pass away. So we had that tested multiple times when we were still at the house. Yeah. And then we moved her here and we just went, she just keeps getting our eyes. We have her at constant temperature, perfect, you know. Yeah, we treated her as needed. It was just a chronic illness she had yep. and she and succumbed unfortunately, to Unfortunately, she passed away. Yeah, so. so I'm sorry that's not a good update with olive oil, unfortunately, yeah. but she was a fun snake while we had her, very food motivated. Yeah, we do have another albino, albino bird. Now, though, yeah, we have Amber. Amber. Yep, and we have a, a Birmingham Lincoln, another Burmese pipe. I thought it was Bernie Sanders. Burmese Sanders. Oh shoot, it's Burmese Sanders, isn't yeah. it? We were thinking about calling Amber, Amber Ham Lincoln. So I think that's her full name technically. I don't know. Logan probably came up with that. Yeah, we have, I, like, I like Burmese Sanders. That's, yeah, that's the normal out there. Okay, so from Petra, uh, I'm an avid tea drinker, so Ed, I thought of you to try some of our, one of our teas, and Emily, the block of chocolate, what is one of my wow. favorites, so Stop. I'd like to know what you think of it. If Ed wants to try it, please let him. Yeah, Aww, right. Do I have to? Oh, I have it, so uh, I'm okay. it anyway. Well, we're going to try it now, apparently. Uh, Thank you so much for the book. Donations. Can't wait. Oh, there's Pokemon cards in here, too? Oh, my goodness. Whoa, you guys aren't just saying Pokemon cards. You are too nice. Look at that. It's like a little game. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to put this together after the stream so we can play it, because there's definitely well, something. Somebody says they things. believe there's, that Toffee Belly has some paradoxing on it. You think it has yeah. paradox? Okay, no, that's some, what I thought, too. You guys have to decide. What is this? We have Shut Up Gamer Kitten. Hi. Thanks for coming to the stream for the first time. I have a card we have in my pocket. Margie donated. We have Fairy Dragnet donated a bunch oh. of times. Oh my gosh, these are super chats? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, you don't have to. Thank you. You don't have to send a. Oh, how's donation. Brad doing? Brad? Yeah. Oh, we can, bring, we can bring Brad up. Yeah, go grab Brad. Okay. Oh, you're telling me to go? Yeah, here, you, you open this and try that. Okay. And Brad. Ed hates being on camera alone, so it's yeah. like gold. I have nothing to say. <laughs> you just stand there awkwardly yeah. and don't say anything. That's okay. Yeah. I'm good at talking. Yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> I wasn't when I was younger. It took me two years before I said my first word, so my parents had suspicions about my mental well-being, but now they can't shut me up, so obviously it fixed itself. Okay, so old gold, dark chocolate, peanut brittle. And this is Australian, I guess? Oh my gosh. That is good chocolate. Oh, it's very rich chocolate, too. Ooh, okay. It's coffee a little bit, too. No, yeah, yeah cocoa, okay. I thought those were coffee beans on the back. That is really smooth chocolate. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't think I'm going to share this with Ed. We're going to hide it. It's going down there. Did you just hide the chocolate on me? I don't know where it went. Well, I saw you slide it under the... <laughs> Here, you put it on the floor. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's bread. Hey, and she, bread. she wanted to eat me when I went to go grab her. So, oops. Of course. So she's doing well. You can bring her up. Okay. So... Her, she, after surgery, she's healed from it, but the tumor is coming back a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah. So here she is. Uh, can you see if I'm on camera? Oh, yeah. Judge. Yep, yeah, you're good. You can so here right she is, it. and then that's the infect or that's the wounded area, and this is already starting to come back. So yeah. we'll see. We might bring her in, like, to act as a get, like, 
another surgery to really cut it all out. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. She's acting fine. Yeah. She she's hungry and she likes to strike at people. Yeah. She but, doesn't know any different. Yeah. But yeah. So that's that's bread for you guys. I think I see actually multiples now yep. too. Yeah. She has. I mean, it's up here a little bit. It could just be odd healing from her surgery yeah, too. This is the second surgery in that area. Yeah, that's true. It could be. But yeah, to me, it's definitely coming back there. But we could have him like explore here and then yeah. go all the way down and just kind could of pull it all out. Yeah. Brett, stop it. She's such a nice snake too. Oh, she's so squirmy now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, don't put her back. Right, she's you. not a program snake. No, she's not at all. A program <laughs> but she's still one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna move on to a little pink box that was mailed to us. Um, I don't see a name. That, oh, there it is. From Caitlin in Missouri. All right, it says very, very fragile. So hopefully everything made it. Let's see, Caitlin sent some art. Oh, we've got a cute little sketch of Rex in here. Oh, we've got Rice Krispie treats, nice. Oh, cute, and there is, I think this is a clay cave. I'm gonna have to read and see if there's a note in here. Oh, there's a chocolate bar to Ed. I'm just gonna tuck that just aside. Are you things from me? I don't know, again, what you're talking yeah. about. Oh, so, Ed, you have to take this apart by yourself with no tools, but it is very fragile. Oh, good! Thanks. No tools. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, take this apart with no tools, but it's very fragile, so don't break it. It's a cute little canvas of our logo. I love it. Thank you, Caitlin. Here, maybe, here, you can try for okay. a minute or two. I don't know my scientific names. What is a, this thing? Is there a question? Yeah. Paradoxingus scoloporus? Yeah. Do you not know that? Scoloporus. Off the top of your head? I don't know if, I, I know that, shoot. I'll just look it up really fast. That's, I know that scientific, but I can't think of it right now. Spiny lizards. Oh, that's Texas why, spiny lizards. spiny lizards. Well, you, they haven't bred for us, surprisingly. A lot of things breed in the zoo. Um, but they haven't. They're doing great though. They skitter all over their background. They're some of my favorites in the zoo because zoo, they're so pine coney. There's a sketch of Cheyenne too. Uh, but yeah, the Scoloporus. I'm not going to forget that now. Uh, spiny tailed lizards are doing really well. Um, to Ed. Sorry, Emily. What? I feel like there's a lot of jokes in this uh, package. People love me. So this is to you. What did Caitlin's. Oh, it's a clicky pen. Nice. Stop sending. Clicky pens, guys. <laughs> uh, so Bradley, uh, corn snakes and shed are it's very common for them not to eat. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, so it's normal if your corn snake doesn't want to eat because it's in shed. Any tips for breeding pink pastel head hog noses? Oh, we actually have a whole series of how to breed North American colubrids. So I think it's called How to Breed Snakes Part One through Part Six. I think we go through everything. It would also apply to morphs of hog noses as well. So I'd recommend checking those out. And this pen is going over there, so Ed can't click it. I'm gonna claim that pen, it's not for you. Sorry, <laughs> Caitlin, I like this I'm not one. gonna let him click it. Amory's? I think I probably butchered that name. Good day, Ed and Emily. <laughs> Can I have one of you say hello to Marie? Hi, Marie! Hi, Marie! <laughs> in Australia. Oh, in Australia, yeah. wow, it's so far away. <laughs> Okay, so I see a problem with this, and it's just gonna rip. I think like I every like... piece it touches, it's just like, oh, it doesn't do the front. Oh, okay. but the back, it just rips. Oh no, it ripped off her name on the back. She Aww. was the one who covered the tape and told me to unwrap it without a tool. There you go. I All did right, it. you did it. Nice job. There you go, Caitlin. Thank you for the gifts and the other goodies in the box too. Thank you. Oh, so that's that's nice. You guys don't have to send us cash, by the way. Don't get... keep it. Keep it for yourselves. Buy something fun with it. Don't send. If you do, it'll go straight to our animals, I promise. But <laughs> keep your own cash. I know you work for your allowances, guys. Don't send it to us. Use it for yourself. It's well earned. Uh, Allie, you can't eat the chocolate. So I'm not quite sure who this is, but they sent like a whole goodie bag of stuff. Oh. And they have like a quiz for you, so you'll they'll know off the quiz. A quiz? Uh, yeah. I'll answer the quiz with Allie up here. Look, look at all the people. Also, there's no quiz. Who is it? There's no quiz? Oh. What is your favorite snake? Oh, I like that kind of a quiz. Yeah. Ah, my favorite snake. Uh, species or individual? What's so individual? Individual snake. Stills probably Charlotte, our albino hognose snake. I love her. She's just plain albino. But What's your favorite uh, chocolate? Favorite chocolate? Reese's peanut butter cups. No doubt. Oh, no, specifically Reese's peanut butter cups with Reese's pieces inside of it. And then I've you never can tried it. Tell this is pretty old because are you going to breed constrictors? 
Oh, we did. We did breed constrictors. Yes, our Argentine boas had babies, and they're growing and super we fast. And we had ball pythons this ah, year. Ah, they're so cute. Oh, I was just thinking boa constrictors. We have. Okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, it did say boa constrictors. There you go. There you go. Yep. We had red Argentine boas. They sent us a huge box of Piero oh Rocher. Gosh. Cheyenne's getting some, even though she's oh. not here today. Oh, okay. She's lazy. She's at home. She's taking the day off. Yeah, she is. She's not working today. We have. Uh, that's oh my gosh! For you. Box of chocolates. Oh, they're truffles. Oh, oh, I can't. I thought oh this was gonna gosh. be a stretchy thing. That's not stretchy. That's oh, I'll you. wear it. Ah. Oh. I got it. Okay, that's right. That's the rule. If there's any jewelry yeah. or necklaces, we have to put them on right away. Wow! And this snake clay snake made it. Oh my gosh! I guess it's slightly. Is it a foam one? Oh, it's a little little bendable. Okay. I don't think so this is from it. Australia. I don't know where this is from. Oh, I don't okay. think it's Australia. Oh, this is a different baggage. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so beautifully wrapped. I'm going to Thank try. you, whoever you were. Thank you so much, mystery donor. Yep. Aw, is there no note on the, the only no name? No name on the, on the note, but I see Alberto. Oh. Uh, so I'm guessing it's kid or grandkid of Alberto. Well, thank you, Alberto. Oh, or I Alberto's see your last name. family member. Or Alberto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to send these here. This is so beautifully rough, I don't want to dig, it, dig into it miss? right now because it's so pretty. I'm going to try to resist at least for a little bit. We'll see Do we how have long any ball pythons? Pythons? Yeah. There, wasn't there one surrendered? I don't know. No, it was the pied chameleon that was surrendered today. Um, we still get like 1 to 10 surrenders a day, guys. It's ridiculous. We're at 120% capacity. We yeah. like have no more room. And we have animals so. sitting outside of the things we have them in. Yes, so. yes. That's why we actually opened up shipping of all adoption animals, assuming they're less wow. than six feet long, to everywhere in the U.S. So if you want to adopt an animal, go to the Snake Discovery Facebook page, find the photo album for animals available for adoption. There's a lot of them right now. We are opening up uh, shipping, so you can email info at snakediscovery.com to apply to adopt one. Yep. Uh, link, link's going to a Comic Con. Let's know. You want anything? Aw, Link, you don't have to give me anything in Comic-Con. <laughs> give me pictures. I want yeah, to see how it was. Pictures. I would love pictures from your experience at Comic-Con again. The person who asked about the spinies has 50 different spinies from 10 different species. 10, 50 yeah. different spinies across 10 different species. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. We could fit a couple more in our zoo exhibit, just <laughs> saying. It's a big exhibit and there's only three. That's awesome though, you have 50. It's insane. This is from Claire in Ohio. Ooh, oh, I've tried these before. They're like the coconut chocolate things. Ooh, those are good. Yes. Happy birthday, Alicia. Happy eight birthday. years old. Oh my gosh, you're eight. Happy birthday. That's awesome. I got stop doing super chats. Guys, Can't you're keep up. Too nice. We have, oh, this is also from Claire. We have. Oh, no, that's right. Australia doesn't let. Birthday uh, treat. And another one for me. Cool U.S. native snakes in their land. Looks like both are for me. Sweet. I see how it is. They don't have cool. Australia has all yeah. sorts of cool native species. No, they they can't have our native species like oh, hognoses. As pets. Oh, yeah. that's right. I'm sorry, Australia. Awesome. Hognoses are the best too. A uh, mm. bee Jedi eighty-eight. Look at that. Sorry, Jedi. But yeah, you still though. Okay. What Jedi, what you guys make up for in Hogno uh, from Hognoses is your are, are your blue tongue skinks. They are way ahead of the game. That's true. Breeding blue yeah. tongues. And we can't get any of those because we can't import from Australia. Yeah. So uh, it's only fair. Lita sent a super chat. They got one of oh. our uh, scaleless corn snakes. Really? How's yeah. it doing? Said it's doing great. It's name is uh, sesame seed. So it must be yes. one of them partially scaleless. Must be. Thank you, right. Lita, for the update. I'm stop looking at oh, super chats so for a minute. There's so much chocolate in here. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen a ring pop in years. This is awesome. I cannot wait to try this. There's just like a bunch of these granola bars. Wow. How's Moody doing? There we go. Moody? Now I can stop looking at chat. Ooh. Should I go grab Moody? Sure. I'm going to grab Moody. He's doing right. really well, guys. I will try and keep up with the chat. And remember, keep talking. Terrible, terrible at that. I'm just going to open this random box and throw things. We have containers here. Is, it, is there a note? Oh, there's some notes in here. All right, cool. Uh, so we got. Maureen sent us this gift from Amazon, which is some sweet containers, probably for eggs. I can see us using that for eggs. And then some artificial plants. So probably more things for, for baby eggs is my guess. Awesome, yeah. So, oh sweet, Whoa. Emily's back. Sorry, yeah. And she, she <laughs> almost tripped over Allie. Might have almost kicked Allie. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, here is Moody. If you can believe it, he has grown so much. But yeah, here, let me hold him up to the uh, camera so you can really see. Yeah. Proof, no eyes. This is <laughs> mad no-eyed Moody. He's Thank doing you, Maureen, so well. By the way. Thank you, Maureen. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's growing. He's, how old is he? Probably five now? Four? Some are, yeah, ridiculous. Probably around at this point. four. But yeah, for his size, he's small for his, well, he is small for his age. But because of his past, you know, not eating as a baby and not having eyeballs, he is actually doing really well, all, con all things considered. How are the, yeah. somebody's asking, how are the, the accidental clutch of balls that were spiders? How are the spiders doing? Uh, good. One's with an employee's family member, yep. doing great. The other spider went to a fan, and it's also, I assume, I haven't heard much, but yep. I assume it's doing well. It got adopted out as like a pet only. Uh, so yeah, they're both doing great, and all the uh, we still have a few babies from that clutch. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, all the ones that sold or got adopted are doing really well. But yeah, there you go, guys. Here's Mad No Eyed Moody. Moody. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try and open this, find a name here. Do, 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 do. Flip over. No, put your name someplace where I can. I don't know, I can't I can't find Goodbye. my name. Goodbye. She's leaving me to struggle. But anyway, there's this sweet laser cut snake discovery uh balsa wood. Yeah, that's awesome. He laser cut they laser cut it themselves. Uh they also sent some some Pokemon cards that say Snake Discovery on them. A uh, chocolate bar for Emily, a couple dollars. Awesome, thank you so much. And a bunch of other Pokemon cards that I just threw on the ground. There we go. Awesome, thank you so much for the Pokemon cards. Emily came running back, thank you. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> as, welcome. As I'm spinning my tires here. <laughs> it's kinda cool, when whenever you put Moody back, Ooh. he does a counterclockwise loop around his enclosure and then he goes into his favorite hide. <gasps> quit it! Quit sending him clicky pins! No. He's so annoying with clicky pins. <laughs> if he has one in the car, he clicks it. You know, subconsciously, you click the pin. I have to click All things. the way you know, off. Emily really hates these lan- oh, not this lanyard. There's a different lanyard oh, that I can play with. This I one? pop it and put it back together, and pop it and put it back together. It's this. She's yelled at me a hundred times for that. Every <laughs> every two seconds in the car, it's being okay. So Ed is a fidgeter. Who is this from? All right, we have a box from Mitchy in Washington, Spokane, Washington. Why am I missing all the names? Like, there's no names on these things. Yeah, I'm fine. Read the letters. I am. I ran through it really quickly. This is from. Yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, you're right. That one doesn't have a name. No, oh, you just gotta read the letter and look at the thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, Richie, right? Mitchie? Sorry, Mitchie. Okay, oh Mitchie gosh. sent a box of looking for bowl. three seconds. Oh my gosh. Of Pokemon plushes? Okay, my name is Mitchie. I'm an artist from Washington State who's been watching your channel for the past four months. While I don't currently own any reptiles, I enjoy watching your care videos and seeing all the fun animals you care for. I'm currently learning Japanese and I've included several goodies from Japan. There's an Umbreon plush for Emily, my favorite. A Charizard plush for Ed. Oh my gosh. I also included Sweet. several packs of uh, Bandai, Bondi, Shirapaki, Dinosaur Excavation Chocolate. Why do you? Oh my gosh. That is awesome. It's like you break the chocolate it's out like around weird. the dinosaur. That's Where awesome. There's also a plush bearded dragon and a plush Suchinoko. You probably don't know what the, that is, so I'll be happy to explain it to you. Okay, so let me find it. Here we have, oh cute! Is this it? Let's see, we have a plush, uh, one's a beard, oh here's, ha ha ha. Okay, here's the plush bearded dragon. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's really I like cute. his beard. Yes. Okay, plush bearded dragon, and plush, this is, I guess, okay, in Japan this is a pronounced uh, a Suchinoko. Okay, this is a Suchinoko. It looks like a snake Charmander, honestly. It's a type of Japanese yokai that's prevalent in Japanese folklore. Uh, Suchinoko is basically a very fat snake that can talk and is very fond of alcohol. What? It's not really magical or whimsical unless you think a fat talking snake that likes to drink whiskey is magical. That absolutely is magical, Mitchy. I love it. You can also put your hand inside of the plush's mouth to make it look like it's biting your arm. Oh my gosh! Oh, it goes all the way. It's a reverse puppet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this so much. I would not have known that had it not been in the letter. Aww. 
This is so cool. P.S. I'm currently working on a graphic novel about animals and I'd be happy to send you an early copy. Oh my gosh, that'd be so nice of you, Mitchie. I would love to read your graphic novel, but you don't have to send me a copy. That's too nice of you. This is really cool and I think it's my new favorite thing. I can see this being like a good sleep pillow because your arm is in the pillow. I love it. Okay, so this Su Suchinoko. Super cute. Okay, you're going to go next to the, actually you're just going to go right up front. Mitchie also sent an alligator snapping turtle plush. Oh, some treats for Cheyenne. And more breakable dinosaur chocolate. Awesome. Okay, somebody asked for rats. For rats? Yeah, so oh. I didn't want to bring like small adult rats out here because they're a huge pain. So I brought baby rats. Oh my gosh. See, can you focus on my hand? Cute. Focus on me, not Emily. <laughs> but they're here, they're cute. What would you think those are? Fuzzies? Yeah. Well, Pinkies crawlers. Pinkies? Crawlers? Okay, uh, yeah. There's one that's like, there's two big ones. Big chunky ones. They've been stealing all the milk. You probably. Oops, I kicked the camera. But yeah, there you go. Baby, baby rats. <laughs> You're going to have to specifically ask for a pup, I guess. Yeah. If you want to see a pup rat. All right, this is from, oh, excuse me. This is from General Pet. That's our distributor. What? They sent us dog toys? I think this is a mistake. Huh, I must have put it in the uh, fan mail uh, box. Yeah, these are definitely not ours. <laughs> okay, well we received some little dog toys from our distributor for the store here. That means I'm gonna have to reach out to them and say we received some other stores as product. So that's gonna go in a special pile over here for <laughs> me to deal with later. <laughs> Gosh, this is a heavy box. This is from S is the first initial. That's all we get. So this is from, I don't know, what country is this from? It looks like it's traveled a ways. Australia, there we go. All right, this is from S. We'll just call them S for short. S from Australia. I'm gonna set this here. And thank you, Mitchie, for these gifts. I cannot wait to give Cheyenne the treats. And I absolutely love these plushes, especially this guy. It's super cute. Okay. All right, we're okay. back. You're back with it. There's, oh, there's right another there. super chat that asked about Tutti Fruity. Here she is. Here she is. She's as good as ever. She's old as can be, but she's doing well. Yeah, I don't think she'll ever die. Yeah, she's, she's just going to keep living. Upper 20s now, yeah. I think. We've had her for a while. We've retired her from programs. Yeah. Uh, but she's just living her best life with yeah. us here. I realize I probably should have washed my hands after the rodents to her, though. Oh, she does like to eat. Yeah, maybe I'll just go put her back. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Oh, man, I have another difficult package to open. Okay, lots of tape. I don't blame you, S, though, because this came from Australia, so I would have tried to package it very well, too. Ugh, but I can't open it. Scissors. Where are my scissors? Ah, here they are. Okay. I'm just going to... Try to open this somewhat efficiently so you're not awkwardly staring at me struggling opening a package. There we go. All right, oh, we have a question mark on whatever this is. Oh no, it's here to drink. Come back. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm done getting animals for a little bit. Taking a break from animals? Yeah. Okay. This is the opportunity though to get updates, so yeah. feel free to keep asking. Well, don't, don't keep asking. White chocolate Tim Tams. I didn't know they made white chocolate ones. I did not ones. know that either. It's your favorite. Okay, can't wait to try that. We have Snake Discovery colored packaging paper. So somebody was asking about Machete. Uh, oh, we need she's a Machete. still good. The main one. What's her name? Oh, Patr Patricia. Patricia. The box. Patricia's set. still good. Uh, there was two Patricia. other ones we got sent. I drilled holes in one of them. I'm gonna grab her. Um, but I drilled holes in one of them so we could use them for the build off championship. And I learned they're very brittle metal, and if you drill too hard, you just snap in half. So the other one got snapped in half. Might have been my fault. You know, I'm just going to assume that it wasn't my fault, and I should have probably done some more research. But, you know, we got new ones, so. And then one broke. I was testing the, the machete after everything was done when people were building stuff in here. And I hit it as hard as I could, and it just, like, shattered. So that one's gone, too. <laughs> But, you know, who did you go get? Oh, Patricia. Patricia. Patricia! Patricia is here! Okay, Patricia is going to help us open some of these packages now. This is going to be great. We'll just set her right there in the middle. This box we is from Eleanor. 
Oh, some sweet Aww, drawing. Cute. You know what? I have this question mark box along with more Tim Tams. Oh, dark chocolate mint Tim Tams. And this is all from S. Whoa. Coconut cream Tim Tams. And there's more. Okay, we've got dark chocolate Tim Tams. Oh, guys, if you. Oh, dark chocolate raspberry. How have we not known there were this many flavors? I don't know, but this one looks delicious. You want to try one? Right now? No. <laughs> I'm going to leave them all and look at them for I'm the rest gonna, of my life. I'm going to try the dark chocolate raspberry. Are they still good? Let's see, where's the sell by date? 11, 12, 23. We're still good. Nice. They're a little melty, but you know. That's all right. They came from a long ways yeah. away. But I have a coconut cream, and it smells coconutty. Mm-hmm. That does. It smells like a Samoa. A Girl Scout cookie? Oh my god. Whoa! Okay. The raspberry's the best one. No. You gotta try that one. You think? Mm hmm. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, okay. Coconut? Tim Tams are a biscuit from Australia. They're That's covered a chocolate. Biscuit. Yeah, they're considered biscuits. They, yeah. call, they call cookies biscuits. Or That's right. Yeah, they're cookies. They're cookies, guys. But wow, they're. That's really good. They're wafer, wafer, some kind of filling covered in chocolate. It's amazing, one of the better can better biscuits out there. I'll kind of show you so you can see the texture. All right. Sorry, I'm still swallowing. Okay. So usually they're all chocolate, but this one's coconut in the middle. But you can kind of see how it's like a chocolate layer on the outside and then crispiness and then nougat and then crispiness. Yeah, you can have this one back. I'll take the rest of that one, please. That was really good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I still really like the raspberry, though. They're both good, but this one... Mm. That's one I'm just gonna wow, thank you here. so much. Next one, one time out of raspberries. I'm gonna try the mint. Mint sounds good. I bet that'll good. taste like a uh, thin mint. Probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just went, what do the Girl Scouts sell? We can do that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this box is from Kitty and Eleanor. Mm -hmm. They sent this sweet cobra snake Whoa. plush. There you go. That is sweet. Mm. Does it like bend too? It, it apparently makes noise. It <laughs> awesome. is. Wow. They, they sent a book on how to draw Pokemon. Oh, cool. So you can like learn how to, learn draw, how to draw Snorlax. Look at that. There and, you go. Anybody you can uh, smell. What are you smelling over there? It has an interesting smell. Like I think it was their favorite plush for a while. So. Uh, okay. That would explain it. Maybe it'll stop smelling. <laughs> it's really cool though. Oh wow. You can learn how to stop, like Haunter and Geodude. That's pretty sweet. Wow. And then in there is a okay. ton. Sit there. A ton of chocolate. Wow. Like we got. I wonder that box was heavy. Ba chocolate bars on chocolate bars. Whoa, I have dinner now. We haven't had lunch either, so this will be our lunch and dinner. What is a mint cake? Apparently, Kendall Mint Cakes. Want to open one up? Sure. What's this first? Okay. Here, I'll open up the mint cake. Ooh. Oh, it's not a clicky pen. Ah, it's not a clicky pen? Yeah, yes. it's got an E on it, though. Oh, and it's new. So I'll give this to you. You're the best write your own story. Oh, it's, it's like engraved on this. It's got oh, an my E on it. I was expecting this to look like chocolate. Oh, weird. Yeah. I was thinking it should oh, be it's, chocolate, too. It's, it smells like candy toothpaste. Yeah. Is it expired? <laughs> Like Best before May 2023. Oh, yeah. we're good. That's, That's fine. Plenty good. I've eaten much older stuff. Oh. They sent some uh, bracelets that I now have. Oh, it got on. better. Oh, nice. Yep, gotta wear them. One of these. Uh, they're on you now, yeah, so I'll true. take one later. But okay. you're wearing them for the rest of the stream. And some. Wow. Okay. At first, it was weird with the texture because it's like compressed sand. That's very sweet. But then the flavor is amazing. There you go. No, no, it's espresso beans. Okay, here, try this. I don't know if I want to try this. I'm going to save the espresso beans for oh. tomorrow morning. Awesome. They are from somewhere out of the country because it says energy instead of calories. Oh, yeah, that's how you know. I feel like these are... It's barely expired, so it's fine. It's like crystallized caramel? I don't know. All the crumbles are going to fall into your laptop keys, which is funny. Okay, mystery box, finally gonna open it. Thank you, Kitty and Eleanor. Yes, thank you. That was an interesting experience. Yes, it was. It wasn't a bad one, though, either. No, was, you're making a weird face, but actually, it's pretty good. This is, again, from S in 
Oh, man. Uh, Australia, that's right. We've been working on this one for a while. Yep. Ooh, more shredded paper. Right, we can give this to our rats, actually, in mice for enrichment. You got be cool. rats. You got tutti frutti. Right. This. Green trees are doing great. The green so tree marathons, they laid eggs recently. We did. did we promise a green tree video? I don't think we promised a green tree video. I don't think we promised one. Yeah. Maybe I hinted at one for the eggs. Nim, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. But the eggs all went bad, so it's not coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's not coming out, unfortunately. Yeah. She laid them up here, and they dropped to down there. So, probably Emily did mention that she was about to do a video about it. And it's yeah, a There's box? a hinge here, so it probably opens. There you go. Oh! Oh my god, no, 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 I want to open it. It's a puzzle box! Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, you have to, no, show that up close so they can see what you're looking at. A puzzle box for your puzzles. This bag says live snakes on it with quotation marks around it. All right. Okay, we have... Boom. So, there is the hinge there. And this thing slides. So, this? I have the thing I'm going to do for the rest of this moves. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be part of this anymore. You're just going to be out of the box. Ed, Ed loves puzzles. It's the only way to like keep him occupied like a little child. Instead of putting him in front of a TV, you give him a puzzle. Well, oh, though, there's like a theme in another Australia. Okay, Reptiles of Australia guide. So now we have this one, and we have the field guide of Australian reptiles. I think people want us to go to Australia. Probably. I want to go to Australia. I just yeah. don't really want to sit on a plane for... 18 That's, hours. Whatever. Yeah, it's daunting. Did we keep ham sandwich? Yeah, Hammy's up front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the, the, the he's super MVP. Yeah. Yeah. He he's doing great. He's in a six foot enclosure and he's the man up there. He'll If he yeah. sees another beardy across the room, he like fights the glass to get to him. So. He does, yeah. Hammy really is the ham. He lives up to his name. We'll just show him at some point the uh, the fancy bearded dragon that we have now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll show you a fancy bearding a little bit too. I just want to read this note from S. Okay. Hey, Emily and Ed, congrats on your retail stores. Soft opening. Oh, man. When did wow, you... that's an old one. I thought we had caught up since then, but maybe not. Uh, oh, he says, I can't wait till the zoo is open for real, and I'll be able to come visit. No, I'm kidding. The package isn't that old. I'm not going to tell you how old it is, though, because I don't want you worrying about that. Oh, oh that, his name is Cameron. Sorry. Okay, Cameron. Cameron has a great sense of humor. See, I know you feel guilty about how long it takes you to get your fan mail when you really shouldn't. I and a lot of your other fans, I'm sure, know how hard you both work. And did, we, did you get it? Oh, I heard a click. I lost the key that I think was pretty important oh, in no. the box. Oh, no. Okay, well, have fun with that. That'll just be extra challenging for you. Uh -oh. I wish you both nothing but a holiday so that you can get some sort of reward and time off. Aw, this is so sweet of you. Okay, uh, see you when... You finally get down here one day, but no rush. Oh, well, thank you, Cameron. Okay, Cameron sent a feather test. So we'll see what the feather test is. Okay, do you want to give me the feather sure. test? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open that on camera now. Uh oh, because <laughs> you lost the key. Yeah. <laughs> You'll think we There's can... a way to they tell you how to do it on the base, but I was like, I don't want to do that. You want to figure it out. Yeah, I yeah. want to figure it out. Oh, digestion. Yes. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. Didn't we do a Tim Tam Slam? Tim Tam Slam? Where you yeah, cut and you then dunk it. Yeah, and you stick up oh, the yeah. milk there. Yeah, we've I done think, a Tim Tam Slam. I think the Tim Tam Slam we did is either in one of our edited fan mail. It's videos. in an edited one. Is it? Okay, I was thinking that or a shenanigans, but it must be in an edited one. I think it's in an edited one. Wow. Oh, here's more flavors of Tim Tams. I Chocolate. will bring everyone asking. Chocolate caramel brownie. I will bring banana bread out. He will come out. <laughs> is everybody asking yes. for him? <laughs> He will come out, we and you need to get through packages, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, you open one more. Okay. Ooh! Feather test. That's a cockatoo. That's a an umbrella cockatoo. Wrong. Sulfur crested? Yeah. Uh, that was my first guess. Okay. okay. And then, oh, that's because they live around there. That makes oh, sense. Salted caramel tin dam. More of them. All right. Oh, I want them to all get stale, so I'm going to save some of them for to try later. Okay, here you go. I know what feather that is. It's the Alula. Yes, it totally is the Alula. This? What kind of feather is this? Hang on. I can show it in front of you so you guys can all struggle with me. What is this? What kind of feather? It's little. This is the t the feather that's on the like the elbow of the wing. They stick them out uh, when they're preparing to land. So what kind of... I'm just going to read comments. 
and don't steal. I'm not cheating. Cheating. It's uh, my lifeline. Okay. okay. I don't know. We don't have any guesses yet. All right. Well, what's this one? <sighs> that one. Oh, that one's cool. Look at this little notchy thing he had. What is that? Is this a ring? No, ringnecks are uh, African. Um, Australian species? Are they all native no. to Australia? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to guess a ringneck for this nope. one. Oh. Uh, some sort of parakeet? An Amazon. Oh, it's just reconnecting. It's fine. Okay. Okay, what about this one? That looks like a Quaker parakeet tail feather. You got it. Hey. All of them are Quakers. Are they all? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, so they're all from Quakers. Hey, I got it. I got it on the tail feather. All right. Which is funny because somebody must have lobbied Wait. for birds to be perfectly legal to import and export out of Australia, but not reptiles or any other animal. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of funny how yeah. birds people got their way there. Nice. Quaker parakeet. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, no. We just lost. Okay, I think. Oh. There. I'm going to read. Is that this for a second? We're resetting? I'm just gonna refresh. Ah, there okay, we go. okay. You said re Oh, here's another puzzle. Another, how cruel would it be if I told you one of these stripes of strips of paper decorations had a code on it? What? There's a code on one of the strips of paper? Yeah, let me see it. And that's gotta be the code for this lock. Oh my gosh. That's kind of mean. Cameron, you are amazing. That is awesome. Where, where do all the strips go? They're all on the Tim Tams, right? No, I don't have Does okay. he mean, do they mean these strips? Oh, I bet he, I bet he does mean these strips. <laughs> How are we going to find the code for that lock on the shred of paper? I will briefly look and see if I can find it in a manageable amount of time. I'm just going to see if I can guess the word. Huh. Okay, I do not see any codes on these strips of paper. Watch, there isn't actually a code. He just cheat. said, how mean would it be if there was one? It wasn't cheat. It wasn't cheat? No. Hmm. So it's we're looking cheat. for a five letter word, guys, to unlock whatever this is. It's another, yeah. man, Cameron, you know Ed really well. Okay, so there's also, I think this is another puzzle too. Was, there's were they the ones who gave me this? Yeah. Yeah, Cameron gave you that puzzle. That I threw the key back in and broke? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't break it, you just have to work harder to get the key now. Okay, we have live snakes that have numbers on it. Do you think that makes the... Okay, I think these have some things maybe to do with your code. I don't know, I could be wrong, but there you go. I think that's a clue for oh, you. Okay, well, I'll just cheat the thing. Don't cheat it! How but do, it's fun to are cheat it. Are these supposed to fit in? Okay, you play with those, live snakes. Uh, I don't know what the point of those is unless you're supposed to fit them all into the box. Got it. Really? Oh, you did? What was yep. it? P-H-F-Z-R. Oh, yeah. that's a weird, weird word. Yeah, there was, there was nothing. Is that just like the combo lock? Yeah, I think you can, it's like that one that we had um, that we would like leave little notes in oh, for yeah. each other and then make us guess, but yeah. Okay. Figured it out. Cool. <laughs> nice. Now I don't have to look for a clue on all those shredded pieces of paper. I don't know what this is. Does this right. like fit all these? Oh yeah, it's totally fit all these in this thing. Okay. Okay. So this is a bag that was dropped off at our zoo from a fan who visited during the time we weren't here. Right. So I wanted to at least thank them and open it in, in on, on camera. Oh, it's Iceland goodies. We've got Iceland treats here. We've got, oh, fancy chocolate bars here. We've got more chocolate, more chocolate. Oh, flavors, I, corn puff flavor? Rice cake flavor? I don't know. What is a hefty bar of chocolate? I'm so mad that I took that key back in because I want to open this so badly. Where did it go? Oh, this way hole. in there. Well, here, yeah, just shake it a bit. You just have to get it the right, the right spot. Because there's something in here too. Oh, is there? Huh. Yep, well. I think it's gone forever. Oh no. But I think you were supposed to do this, pull the key out. Ooh, coffee from a fan. I love trying new coffees. And there isn't a name or anything on here. Oh, it smells like fruity almost, even though it's quite gross. Oh, and Icelandic milk chocolate wafers. Yes, I'm trying that right now. I'm gonna hang on to, I think, the chocolate bars and open them later. I try not to open everything we get because I don't want it all to go stale. I want to enjoy it, but I have to try Icelandic milk chocolate wafers right away. That sounds oh. incredible. Dennis the Menace is not coming out. I'm just going to say oh, that gosh. right now. <laughs> 
So I he, love that you want to see him, but yeah. no. He's bonkers. Yeah. I, we named him Dennis. Okay, so remember that we did, did a video where we got a uh, blue-tailed monitor that had a highly swollen leg that needed surgery? We ended up falling in love with him and keeping him after he healed. Yeah. And we named him Dennis the Menace because he truly is a menace, but we love him. But we're not going to take him out because of his menacing attitude. That's a good idea. Um, I'll, go, I'll go grab some tweezers. The box is gone for the day. I'm not going to... Ooh, that looks tasty. Right? Yeah. There's nothing I can do about it, but somebody did recommend. I'll just grab their name really quick. Like snake tongs? Yeah, long mm. tongs. It's a good idea. What is it? Whoa. Oh, Mike. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea, Mike. I'll do that. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Icelandic, oh, that's the non-English side. Icelandic milk chocolate wafers. This is delicious, and I love the texture. It's really crispy. It's like a Kit Kat with rice on the outside and then Dunkin' chocolate. Ooh. Uh, mm -hmm. For everybody asking who wants to know, we did get rid of our P.O. box. Don't send anything there. Oh, yeah. Now send it to our address here, 831 Century Avenue North, Maplewood, Minnesota. You guys want to come here and drop it off, too? Yeah. yeah pretty cool. We can meet you in the process. You can just Google Sneak Discovery, guess. Minnesota, and that'll bring up the address, too. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah, it is good. Uh-huh. All right, I like it. Thank you so much. Mm. I didn't see a name in the bag, but if you were the one who dropped off these Icelandic mm -hmm. goodies, Thank you so much. Mm. Well, it's Icelandic coffee too. I've never tried that before. Mm. Love coffee. Oh, Thank cool. you. So here's a, speaking of visiting the facility, uh, boyfriend and I visited your facility in March. We're very impressed. We love everything you're doing for reptiles for your zoo rescue and YouTube channel. These are wonderful animals and they don't give the appreciation they deserve. Aww. This is from Gabriel. 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 Uh, yeah. Enter Snakes Bandit Bilbo and Cutie Pie. <laughs> yeah, and they they have an Etsy shop called oh. GM Custom Art that they sent us. Oh, there's a card. We'll have to show it. Some sweet, oh. some turtley cool. Oh my gosh, is there a card in here we can show? Those are adorable. Nope. Okay, so it's just GM Custom Art is the Etsy <clears throat> shop for this. We got turtley cool and show your true colors. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, that thank really you. Nice, Gabriel. We have a and thanks for coming to the show. And thank you for coming. Yeah, that means a lot. Hopefully, to us. we got to meet you. This is from Maureen. Maureen just sent us a goodie straight from Amazon, and it's whatever this. Are these? Oh, oh, it's fake plants. Oh, cool. It's like little bushels of flowers. I should open this. Okay, are you gonna grab like banana bread or someone? Sure. Since everybody's asking. Yeah, everybody wants banana bread. <laughs> you win, you guys. You win. Yeah. See, all you have to do is just spam the comments with a collective idea. Don't. And Ed Stop cakes. Stop it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Maureen. We can absolutely use these. And since it's baby season right now, we can put these in baby bins. I actually know the perfect bins that these will fit in. Thank you so much. We will absolutely use these flowers. Perfect. OK, now I have to go awkwardly off camera for a second to grab another box. This is, this one was, there's no address, so I'm guessing this one was dropped off too. P.S. Read this first. Okay. The, the one that says Emily is for her birthday. The Ed one oh. is for Ed's birthday. It's banana bread. There he is. And his girlfriend, Honey. One, or, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say one of his girlfriends, but I should be saying he's one of her boyfriends. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Aww. Good. I'm not getting Chloe. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not getting Chloe out here. Now, don't need her. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they can help out a bit. Oh, man, she is big. Yeah, she's chunky. You are a big ball python, girl. Yeah, you are. You can hang out of my head, baby. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of tape on this. Tiny is still with us. He is oh, yeah. he finally ate for eating. He first time yes. the other day. Well, first time in a couple months. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay, read letter first. This is from Sue. Let's see. Hi, my name is Sue. I am going into fifth grade. Uh, in this package, there will be a hide. Uh, something... I'm not doing Rex either. Yeah, no Rex. Something for both of you and for an employee of Snake Discovery. Oh, okay. In the employee one, there is rupees or Indian currency. Wow, okay. Oh, cute. We've got a painting of a green tree python we have oh i see this is the hive oh neat it's like i think this was yarn 
that was like covered in glue to make it solid. That's sweet, what a cool idea. We have, oh, this one says for Emily. Clicky pens. That's to Ed? It's to me. No, it actually me. says to Emily. You don't, oh, these are nice pens too. Ha, huh. yeah, I'm yeah. definitely taking these pens. Grace <laughs> wants to know, how is New York? No, my sister Grace? No, Grace Zahn. Oh, Grace Zahn. Oh, New York was actually a lot of fun. We got back yesterday morning. We were supposed to get back Sunday night, but then our flight got canceled for two days. <laughs> so Other than that, it was yes. actually a really fun time. Okay. We ate a lot of good food. A lot we got, of We had sushi almost every day. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, uh-huh. It's like dream come true. Sushi is one of our favorite yeah. foods. And we were told that, oh, uh, this one says, Ed and Emily share. It's another package. Oh, oh clicky pens! Stop sending us clicky <laughs> pens! Oh my gosh. We went to a handful of restaurants there that Patreon did recommend. It was all good stuff. It was yeah. all really good stuff. Uh, we learned we love halal food. Yeah. Like the halal, halal trucks. Delicious. Amazing. Yes. Oh, and I think this one, we've got like jewelry in here. This one says for an employee. Okay. What is in oh, here? Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, there's two pennies for the Rex employees? Rex is right here. Oh, yeah, let me oh, move the box it, yeah. out of the way. There you go. Rex is right is. here. <laughs> well, we have uh, some pens and a pencil sharpener. We Thank are you, not going down to the Atlanta Reptile Expo. We'd like to, but there's a lot going on every weekend. Yes. And, you know, there's a lot. Yeah. Yes. Thank we you. just went to the expo in New York and we don't have time to go to another one. Yeah, we went to the, the White Plains show. And pretty good. You but know, thank you, inside. Caitlin, also. Yes, thank you, Caitlin. Good questions. And thank you for asking how New York was. That was really yeah. thoughtful. Well, oh, that was Grace. Oh, great. That's right. Grace asked about New York. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, where'd the other one go? Whoa. Oh, okay. Fun. We have a hand stitch. Ooh. Snake discovery. Wow. The talents. And there's even like little flowers. Oh, uh, my gosh. Remember the fans who got the tagu in New York? Yeah. They're here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got the little baby tiger mm -hmm. from the They stage. want to know if there's any, if we can give any hints for Tim Lee's dress code. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can give you a hint for Tim Lee's dress code. The pins I ordered yesterday, so hopefully they're here on time. Think <laughs> of pop, or er, big movies that have yeah. recently come out. Yeah, there you go. That's all we're giving That's you. That's your hint. All right, so this was made by Emma. I really love your videos about snakes. And I think Rex is so cool. I have two snakes. One is a ball python. Her name's Petra. Oh, she's four feet long. Yeah, Petra's like close to this. Uh, then I have a baby corn snake. Her name is Noodle. Noa. That's so cool. Thank you, Emma, for this. I wonder if that's named after Ender's Game, Petra. Oh, I wonder. Ender's Game is really good series. Or not series. Is it a series? It's more it just a single. movie. All right. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Emma, for the art. Both pieces. They're great. Love it. Yeah, currently I'm reading the Gone series, and that is a great series. Oh my gosh. So Bye. Sarah sent us this pack, and a little note. They sent a bunch of amazing drawings. Cute. I'll just kind of do that. Oh, cute! Yeah, you can yeah. kind of see through them. And then they sent us a whole bunch of Bucky stuff. Nice. Like we got a phone holder Bucky. Oh, really? So you can like it. I'll just yeah, let's use this. Kind of this that sounds here. awesome. And then you put it like that. And Bucky holds your phone for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. Sweet. Okay. Well, you. I could like watch movies with the Bucky's phone holder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bucky could be with you while you watch a movie. Okay. This can go right here holding oh, my phone. Oh, what's this? Oh. They sent us a genuine gator tooth from huh? Florida. Whoa. That's a lot bigger That's than Rex's teeth. That's a huge tooth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. It's like They sent yeah. us some enclosure rocks cool. for snakes. We can always use those. Oh yeah, absolutely. And they sent you your favorite thing ever. I haven't had these in months. And now that we're not able to go to Arlington, I won't have Bucky's for even longer. I'm going through withdrawals. Yeah, this is a magnet. Do you think magnetized around here? Mm -hmm. We don't. Oh, my Patricia way. magnetized? Oh, it is. There you go. Oh, nice. Patricia's rocking mm. some flair now. Well, I'm just going to eat these for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Delicious. Thank you so much. I'm getting my Bucky's fixed because now I have to last until. When are we going to um, Texas next? February? I think there's another Arlington in February. I don't know. That's really the only reason why we go. Okay. Um. Sorry. Mine that at least but man, those are good. Oh, that's a good question. I'm out of them. Why? Well, was out of them? This person 
You know that one chick asked you know, the question. That one chick. Yep, you know that one chick. Uh, asked Ed, very important question. When you ask Emily where she wants to eat, and she says, I don't know, where's the one place that makes her heart happy? Oh, what probably is that place? either Akita or Osaka. Is it Osaka? Osaka. What's the one in Hudson? Oh, uh, Sapporo. Sapporo. Ah, yeah. both sushi places. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty safe bet. Or Taco Milwaukee Bell. Burger Co. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or Milwaukee <laughs> Burger Co. The McDonald's dollar menu. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what she's worth. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I do need McDonald's French fries. It's true. I'll take that back. There's a lot of days we have bad days at the shop. Not a lot, but enough. Yeah. And we'll just leave. It's like midnight. And Emily's like, it's a French fry night. I'm like, all right. Yeah, then you know quiz. we are getting french fries. Because that's the only thing on my mind when I decide I need french fries. That's all I can think about until I get them. <laughs> all right, say goodbye to banana bread. Say bye to banana bread and to honey. Bye, guys. All right, this is from Ella from Seattle, Washington. Ella says, oh, gosh, you guys are way too nice. We don't deserve so many goodies. We're very thoughtful, guys. Ella says, awesome chocolate. What is this? A vos inflado? Mm. Oh wait, was that? Oh, it's all in Spanish. Okay, I probably just butchered that. But it looks like delicious chocolate. All right. She said, clicky pens. Oh, wait, more clicky pens. More clicky pens. So, okay, well, oh wait, no, they're not clicky pens. Sweet, they're just normal pens. Aha, okay, great. Nice, these are from Puerto Rico pens. And Ella also sent, ooh, cherry filled chocolate kisses. Awesome. Oh, and ch more chocolate? Ooh, pistachio chocolate. That's, that's good, too. Oh, that's those are pins I ordered. Oh, okay. Those are pins, I think, for next Arlington show. There's an Ugg box. Ooh. I don't think it's Uggs. Uggs don't make that noise. Nice. Right, where's a normal question? A normal question? That's not... I missed Link's message. Resend it, Link, and I'll pay attention for a minute here. All right, Link. <laughs> All right, this is also from Emma. Or Ella, sorry. Uh, this is covered in notes that says for Emily and three pens for Ed. I hate to say it, I'm not getting out the blue tree monitors either. Oh, yeah, you want the skin on your arms. Yeah, somebody asked for Rex again. No, we're not doing Rex. You can't take Rex out, guys. I'm sorry. She would not be happy. <laughs> uh, it's a process getting Rex out. We can. And once she's out, she's fine. But it takes a while to get her out. And it takes two people How to get her out. How is Rex? Rex is doing great. Yeah. Yeah, she recently learned that if she playfully snaps at someone behind the glass, she usually gets a big reaction. So she does it all the time now. She's like a toddler, but she's having fun. And it, it's kind of an amusing reaction to us who work here. So go for it, Rex, have fun. So hi, W-H-I-W. I'm doing well, thank you. It's good to see that somebody's just asking me how my day's going. Aw, that's really sweet. Still wait for Link to send it through. He's watching, Link. He's watching through your question. There is a delay, though, I'm sure. I know. Okay, this was also sent by Ella. What is this? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, first of all, this is from Gila Cafe, which we have two of now. And it's coffee! Ah, it's ground coffee, too. What a cool dragon. I like the artwork. Okay, that, I think, is also in Spanish. So I don't know exactly what it says. Hopefully it's like, it feels like coffee. I feel like, does cafe, you took Spanish, does cafe mean coffee? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Wow. What's he, the oldest episode, uh, oldest reptile we, we have? Oldest in age or yeah. the one we've had the longest? Probably oldest in age. I guess both would be the same. Rex. We've oh, had true. Rex yeah. longer than any other reptile and she is 37 years old. 36. 36, I think. Yeah, 36. Man, she's getting up there. Thank you, Ella, for the coffee and all the other goodies. Oh, there's a note, okay. Thank you people who are answering other people as well. Like somebody asked how Nearly Headless Nick is doing and that's oh, a while ago. That's so. a long time okay, ago. Okay, there's Link. Link, you could have just done a... Uh, <laughs> you didn't have to do a super chat. Link, you didn't have to do a super chat. Uh, we would love to find rubber boas in Washington. Yes. Oh, thank you, Ella, for the goodies. You apparently also have to look up Septimus Heap. Septimus Heap? It's dragons. It's a oh, book. it's a book? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm always looking for new books. Thank you, Link. I am, yes, thank you, Link. Yeah, I would love to find rubber bows. Okay. I am Ella. I hope you like the gifts. I am in Mexico right now, and I'm going back to the USA soon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, what was that last part? Uh, mommy will not let me get a snake until I am 20. 
Oh, well, that just gives you a lot of extra time to, you know, figure out what the perfect snake species is going to be for you. Nice. Thank you, Bella. So, jerk face. Jer oh, oh. Yes. Okay, so jerk face is another sad update, unfortunately. Uh, so, jerk face, um, what was her other name? The worst. Yes. She was the worst. So, the worst was a bull snake that was surrendered to us last year, and she was wild caught, but she was like a really white sided y looking yes. morph. So she was surrendered and she was just the angriest bull snake that we have ever worked with. Hence two names, the worst and jerk face. We all kind of loved her though because of the attitude, but we put her into formation because we wanted to breed her this year and like test it out, see if it was genetic, which we have cool genetic news with hognoses this year coming out soon. But uh, we put her into formation, took her out of formation. And as you may have seen during the taking out of brumation video, she laid slugs, slug yep. eggs, while in brumation yep. for some reason. And she's like from this area, so her brumation was timed for the natural brumation cycle she would have encountered in the wild. But she laid some slugs, and then she became egg bound soon afterwards with more slugs. And so we brought her into the vet, our vet got them out, and then he started her on antibiotics, because they typically do when they have to extract um, eggs just in case they popped on the inside or anything. So she was on antibiotics and then she started tanking and then she did better and then she just tanked again and yeah. didn't make it in the end. So we got her back to a vet after that. They gave her more and they were like, she needs so to be on antibiotics things. and we're like, she's on antibiotics. And we she tried was, a different we one. We tried a different one and then yeah. she just, it's, it, there's this thing called the crash that happens when yeah. the snakes are going downhill really quickly and it's like, can take up to like three days to two weeks but it's mm -hmm. it's so quick and it just happens and yeah she was actually one of those and it was kind of disappointing we really wanted to see if the white side was yeah. you know our guests we talked to a handful of people who knew their stuff around here and they're like probably she was a really bad pet that somebody just released most likely <laughs> so, it wouldn't surprise me she with her truly, personality she was the worst until the very end like, yes she, she went out in the same way she wanted to live, I swear. <laughs> she did. So we have very fond memories of her because of how horrible she was. I loved her for it, but yeah, yeah. so that's unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, two things. One person, uh, Emma, asked, is a bull snake and a gopher snake the same thing? Great question. Great question. Gopher snake is the overall term for the bigger body clue. This is a species. Bull snakes are a subspecies of gopher snakes. So yes. gopher snakes... Bull snakes. Mm -hmm. So, so bull snakes are a type of gopher snake. Yeah, basically. Essentially. And then Crazy for Cows, awesome name, nice. uh, asked what happened to the robber. Uh, nothing happened to the robber. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Because they just, we couldn't, the police came over, they didn't really do anything. We gave them the footage. But the robber was wearing a mask, a hoodie, yeah. basically gloves on, everything. He was covered from head to toe. So. Yeah. But we shored things up here. We're yeah, we, we have a lot tighter security. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we finally got the outer fence that we've been waiting for for like two years because we really pushed heavily, especially after what had happened. So that got expedited, even though it should have been done years ago, and now it's done. So that's great. So we have a lot of extra security now, which is good. Do we ever think we're gonna get the less common rat snakes, like the bamboos or hundred flowers, green tails? I've always wanted mandarin rat greens. snakes, and red-tailed green rat snakes would be really cool too. Or rubber boas. Oh, rubber boas. They, this person can hook it up if we want to do any of those. So, really? You know, send us an email at uh, sales email. at Snake I, Discovery. I've always wanted mandarins. And, if, and now that we're getting into the weird rat snakes with the blue beauties that hatch, and now we have the Taiwanese beauties. Yep. Those are those are getting, they're close to breeding oh. size. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, uh, reach out to us. <laughs> All right, this is from Luke in New York. Thank you, Grant and Caitlin. Thanks, you guys still have the hypoberm you rescued with the rattlesnakes. Now, after the hypoberm in the zoo tore down her light fixture and escaped for two weeks, and then we found her in the rodent room, which meant she traveled through the ceiling, uh, we're like, not only are you just an angry, upset berm, but you are dead set on escaping. We adopted her out. She's actually yeah. in a really good home with a regular customer who gives us updates. She's being very well taken care of. Zoo life just wasn't for her, and it isn't for all animals, so she's much happier oh my now. Oh gosh, this is you riding a giant oh. Rex. 
Oh my, yeah. Do you and have also, to show we were that just talking place? about Nick. Oh, Rest yeah. in peace, Nick. Rest in peace. You really have with yeah. Nick. But riding a giant Rex would be terrifying. That is and Emily riding a giant Rex. <laughs> I, that, she would just eat everybody. She would, yeah. They'd have to get like a tank out and just yeah, she take would just her out. Eat everything, like a vacuum, I should yeah. <laughs> All right, Luke in New York. What does that have? Oh my gosh, that's so much chocolate. Okay, a little bit of it melted in the bag, but that's okay. Good thinking with the bag. That kept it all contained. There's Reese's peanut butter cups in here. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm eating a Reese's because I've seen so many now that I... Oh, they're all melted together. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Okay. Luke also sent... Okay, that's the last thing. Uh, sent a note. I have a note. Somebody sent us an Amazon card, but this, the back is scratched off, so I think it was already claimed. That's funny. <laughs> that's awesome. It reminds me of the Amazon Alexa. That came without that's any information true. with it, so we couldn't I'm know like, oh, Okay, that's <laughs> cool. Uh, those make me laugh. Those gifts. I love it. It's good for a laugh. Dear, oh, this is from Jackson. Uh, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are only for Emily, and I hope you both try the N Nutella bar. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Nutella bar in They make lavender scented incense. Oh my gosh. Haley is gonna. Great. Haley's, oh, that smells amazing. Maybe we'll have to get a couple of Haley's. No. No. <laughs> Sharing is caring, no. and she would, they would love it. They yeah. would love having the... You would also love it. I would, yeah, but I, I can share. Oh, they're not melted. Yes. Oh, they, they're a little melted. I wish I knew who sent this box. Again, I picked a box that has no name. Why do you always I don't pick know. those? Here, have this... Uh, I'm going to eat this Reese's Peanut Butter Cup from first. Jackson. Oh, 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 it's old. Is it? It's very stale. Well, thank you. Now I don't have to try it. Oh. Unless it's caramel and it's supposed to be like that. No, I'm gonna guess it's not. It didn't crunch. It didn't mush. <laughs> I'll oh. check this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, whoever sent us the Ugg box must have been handed it to us in person with the amazing Must artwork. have, yeah. Thank you. I mean, okay. Oh, we what should pay What happened to the Rex cam? Ed got lazy and stopped doing anything with it. Uh, it is going to come back. Yes. I will keep it up to date. I want to install Ooh. two more cameras throughout the zoo. And let you guys, because you were, at the end you were switching between our You're installing more cameras? I was planning on, I have a whole bunch. What's no, one, I have one. Which ones are we going to do? I don't know. Let us know which enclosures, which exhibits should have cameras added to them in our zoo. Yeah, maybe, I think I'm going to do Dennis the Menace. He seems uh, like a good one. That would be good. I got to get stuff that moves around a lot. The Argentine is up there. So it's yeah. got to be something, like turtles are good. I want to do turtles, but I don't know how to feasibly do turtles. Yeah, turtles but would be cool though. Rex is good, so. I want to do two more cameras and then I'll bring it back up, but okay. you guys will know about that. I just missed a whole bunch of Super Jet, sorry about it. Here's another package that was dropped off at the zoo, so I wanted to open oh, it on camera. Stanley. Who's Stanley? From the morning update. The morning update? Yeah, it said... Stanley. Hi, Emily, that house Stanley from your old morning routine video. I can't remember a Stanley. Did the name get changed, I wonder? Anybody give us a little bit more information on a Stanley from that video? I vaguely remember a Stanley, but Aww. I can't place it. Okay. Congrats on the rescue, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie rescued something? Yeah, I rescued a milk snake. Oh, nice. Good job saving it, uh, Stephanie. Oh my gosh. Oh, somebody dropped off. Okay, there's a note. Who is talking about Stanley? This Come on, is people. from Charlotte and Charlie. I've been watching your channel for the past five years. Uh, I even got my dad, who's scared of snakes, to watch with me. Nice job. Um, let's see, out of all the snakes, I have to say I love Charlotte the most because we share a name. And about three years ago, she laid a clutch of eggs on my birthday. Wow, that's perfect. Nice. Love from all the way from Massachusetts. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. I Stanley. love these. The iguana wasn't Stanley. The iguana was Spock. That was Spock. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Oh, sour gummy worms. That's Ed's favorite. Stanley was an old bull snake that was very food motivated. Do you remember Stanley the bull snake? Oh, I do remember Stanley. That was a very, that, that's right. That was a long time ago. He was an old bull snake. He was just a normal, if I remember correctly. Um, was he like the Jerry? We, re we rehomed re him. We rehomed him? Yes, we rehomed him to a retirement home because of how old he that's was. That's right. I yep, remember him. I remember. Now. Yep, I remember. So, he may or may not be still with us. He was old but when we rehomed him. That's right. Man, I hadn't thought of Stanley in a long time. Yeah. He was like a rescue, I think. Again, 
Blue tree monitors are not coming out. I want to keep the flesh on my arms. <laughs> You're not going to win that one, guys. Nope. Sorry. As much as you ask. I also do. I found this on my desk. It's just a lunch bag. So when people drop off goodies in the zoo, staff will just kind of drop them off on the desk. Don't tell them that. Well, for us to find them. We'll get them all the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we do end up getting it. I just don't know what. Oh, it's so. This one's gonna take me a minute, I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna open soap together, guys. Okay. Oh. oh, I wish I had smell vision It smells so good. Okay, this is soap from, I assume, oh, it's to, oh, it's, oh, I should've opened that on camera, sorry guys. Snake Shed Pink Salt Soap from the Hive brand. Oh, it's probably small business. Nice, there's no note in here, but I'm assuming, oh yeah, there's definitely like a bee sticker on the bag. This is from a fan who probably has a snake and makes soap from it. White tea soap. Okay guys, you have to try from the hive uh, soap. I'm just gonna say it's it's good soap. Oh my gosh, I have like burps for some reason. I'm just gonna say it's really good soap because I have tried snake shed soap before and it is so smooth, so sudsy. I can't wait. I don't have any right now. I'm out, so this is perfect. So from the hive is a brand that makes, oh, snake shed beer soap. That's interesting. I've actually been tempted to try to make snake shed soap and then come out with a video tutorial on how to do it. So if you want to see something like that, let us know. It'd be similar of a tutorial video as the snake shed pendant kits is kind of what I'm thinking. Snake shed oatmeal and honey? Oh my gosh, that smells amazing too. Okay, I will. Whoever dropped this bag off, I'm going to try all of these and I'm going to love them all. Oh, that's who you brought out. Yeah, it took me a minute, but and I found her. You. And here she is, like for everybody who was asking. Oh, that's who they wanted next? Yeah. Nice. There's Legolas. She's doing really well. Yep, she was sleeping. Oh, was she? <laughs> they were all sleeping under oh, a rock. Sorry, girl. Which we had to figure out a way to cover the rocks so they actually stay out. I know. Because they're not yeah. coming out anymore since we re they redid the enclosure. Yeah, they figured out how to hide under the rock. Yep. Oh, and we encourage them to come out. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll just nestle it down or something. Oh, Legolas. Yeah, She's here she is. Lizard. Oh, she teaches so many people about lizards too. It's really cool. Somebody asked, "What's it feel like to be so close to three million? And do you want to explain what's going to happen for three million in two weeks? I should check. A week? Let's see, because I have access to the exact number. Uh, let's see, because I think on like everybody else's screens, they can only see two point nine nine. Yeah. And that's it. So we are currently. I'll refresh it. We're at two point nine nine five six two one. So I'm not saying like. I'm not gonna do the thing where it's like, subscribe, you guys, to three million. Uh, but it, it's just gonna happen naturally, and eventually it'll happen, hopefully, maybe. I mean, we're close, so I, it, it might happen, maybe. It, I hope it does, because on Monday, we have tattoo appointments, guys. Ed and I are getting our very first tattoos, because on the community tab on the channel, we, I think a couple months ago, created a poll of asking you guys to vote on how we should celebrate hitting three million subscribers. And the winning choice was getting matching Snake Discovery logo tattoos. So I'm gonna have mine. I'm so nervous for it. It's it's gonna hurt, and I'm not gonna. I have to do it though, because you guys voted. I'm gonna put mine, I think, right here, something like that. And then Ed is gonna put his right there, because his work shirt has the logo there, and yep. his hoodie has the logo there, so he can just be like Superman and take off all yep. the. They did suggest when we were there, they're like, you just do a full one. I'm like, I don't want that much. Like actual Superman? <laughs> yeah, so I can just be like, snake discovery. <laughs> That'd be a little much. It yeah, would be yeah. Awesome, but maybe That's a little too much. much. So now I'm all nervous. Gosh, that's Wednesday, Thursday, five days away. Monday, think good thoughts for us because I feel like I'm going to be in pain. But it's going to be worth it for you guys because you voted on it. And I'm going to do it. Okay, this is not labeled. Is this part of this box? I assume it is. I'm out of boxes. Wait, are these open? Oh, you have the box that has a key in it. Yeah, that one's gone forever right now. This oh, that's right. This is the weird chocolate. has nothing labeled on it, but we're going to open it anyway and find out. My name is Annalise. Okay. My mom and dad own Genesis Reptile Rescue. I've been watching your channel for at least two years now. My pets are a ball python, a jumping spider, and multiple morning geckos. Nice. Genesis Reptile Rescue is a 501c3 nonprofit. We have ambassador reptiles and about 10 up for adoption. Cool. Question. Uh, what is your favorite animal other than reptiles and birds? 
you know, I love questions from kids. Nobody else asks me what my third favorite type of yeah. animal is. Um, other than reptiles and birds, which are debatably the same thing if you watch Clint's reptiles. Um, <laughs> we respectfully disagree, Clint. I'm so sorry. I see where you're coming from, but I still respectfully disagree. Because yeah. if you use that logic, everything far enough back is the same species. It's true, yeah. P.S. I'm writing this in the car. I love it. Okay, so favorite animal other than reptiles and birds. I, oh, I haven't thought of that. that. That takes out everything good. Probably bird poop frogs. I really like oh, them. Amphibians? Okay. Yeah, amphibians. Yeah, they're fine. Or reptile or bird. Yeah, they look like bird poop. Google so, them. If you've never heard of it, Google bird poop frog. L. Bon uh, said, did you guys go herping at all in New York? We did not, unfortunately. No. We stayed in the, like, Manhattan. Yeah. So there was, like, no chance. And we had no car, because I'm not going to drive in that. And did we go to the New York or the Nintendo store? No, wanted to, just ran out of time. We found a cool or, anime store. Or the Hershey's store. No, ran Didn't out of time. There. We no. saw the m M&M store, but we've been to that in Vegas, so. Yep. Um, we went to yeah, an anime store that was, like, all the statues, and it's all they sold. That was kind of cool. We bought some Christmas presents for her sisters there. Yeah. Hopefully uh, they're not watching. Yeah, they're not. If they, I mean, we're, we're not, not saying what it was. Yeah. yeah so Actually, and her friends. Her, one of her best friends. We got to get. Oh, yeah, we did buy. We did some uh, Christmas shopping yep. while we were there. So that was fun. We, we did some, that. Uh, we went to the Harry Potter store out there. That was kind of cool. Got oh, to eat. Yeah. Got to drink butterbeer. Yeah, that was delicious. Yeah. Oh, cool. Genesis Reptile Rescue. Nice. Is it a. Oh, it's a 2X. That's perfect for you. Nice. There you go. Hey, awesome. Sure. I didn't get a shirt, but I got coffee instead. Sweet energy for your brain. That's a perfect excuse to drink coffee. Yep. Oh, I like that. And we also got... It feels like a sticker, from, but it's not a sticker. From Annalise. Genesis Reptile Rescue mug. Go check them out. All rescues are overridden with animals from COVID, including ourselves. Please so, adopt a reptile. Angie, this is a, the one that our, one of our staff opened. Angie sent us chocolate spiel. They're, oh. they're really cool looking chocolate, like uh, yeah, that's like super weird. colorful chocolate. That's chocolate. Yeah, oh they look like these. One is rose black tea, and one is charcoal habanero salt. Oh, you need to try so that. So I think Emily needs to try habanero. Uh, habanero. Uh, what do they? Okay, if we ask them to do something and we reach a goal. What will I do? Ooh, um, uh, how do you do a goal? I don't want to ask for money. No, I mean, we're not going to ask for money at no, all. No, that'd be weird. Um, we have to ask them a trivia question. And if they guess it right, then I will try mm -hmm. it. What we should do is nobody chat for 30 seconds. Oh. And Emily will try this. 30 seconds. Okay, let's make it 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Okay, if you cannot talk or not chat for 15 seconds, then I will try a piece one, of the habanero. Two, oh, wait, one, wait, no. Nope. Oh, oh. Come on, guys, you can do this. Wait, I'm going to start a timer. One, two, nope, one, okay. nope, one, nope, one, nope. <laughs> Whoa, it slowed down so much! <laughs> it did, it really slowed down. One, one. Okay, two, I'm not even going to start a timer because it's just going to count to 15. Can you not say anything for 15 <laughs> seconds? I might not. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay, one, Ed's going to uh, count one, for two, one, ten. Two, Let's make it ten seconds. Ten seconds. We're ten gonna seconds. break down the bar. Only ten seconds. You don't have to talk. One, but actually, one, keep talking because I don't want to try the habanero chocolate. All right, I'm gonna keep going and open. Uh, and again, if you do not chat anything for ten seconds, then I have to try habanero chocolate. Oh, somebody's saying I'm not letting Emily suffer. Ah, it's sweet. Okay, no, you guys can let me suffer. It's okay. I will do it because I would just honestly be impressed that the chat would be able to pause for 10 seconds yeah. when there's 2,000 people watching. That would be That amazing. would be insane. That'd be really cool. I believe in you. Well, nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Ah, oh, it's too much. Yep. Not going to happen. Just make her do it. <laughs> All right, this is from Peter's. I think Peter's family in Colorado. Okay. We've got... Oh! I really like this. This is really cute. Okay, and then we have, okay, there's a letter in here too. I have to prop this up though so everybody can see it. 
How is our chat challenge going? We've gotten to four one time. Four seconds? Now people are just kind of back to normal. Okay. Thank you, Scarlett. She said she loves us so much. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to come up with a different goal for them. They got kind of close. Four seconds still left. Actually, impressive too. How are too. the hog noses from the Arlington show that we got? Arlington. Oh. The, all the these, rescues. The. The rescues. Oh, we picked that's up. right. Um, Remy, the super arctic that had neurological issues. Her neuro issues got progressively worse, so we decided to euthanize her so she didn't suffer because quality of life was not there. But all the others are doing great. The Conda Het Lavender doesn't want to eat much, but we're still figuring him out. Bye guys! Uh, sorry, my staff's leaving for the night. I will eat the habanero. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't have to! Nice! Okay. Yeah, you guys can go back to chat like you usually did. <laughs> even though some of you didn't stop to begin with. Yeah, good job. Good job trying. <laughs> and thank you for still talking, because now I don't have to try the habanero chocolate. Uh, unless Ed comes up with a different goal. Mm -hmm. It's a little piece. Is it spicy? It might take a couple seconds, so I'm going to read this. Dear Snake Discovery, my name is Judah, and I am 14 years old. I've been watching your channel for the last five years, since before Ed's face reveal. I love how funny you all are. I love pausing the videos to read the small captions. Uh, oh, he has a, a corn snake named Jack. That's awesome. When I grow up, I want to have a store slash zoo like yours. I want it to have Kubiak's Dwarf Cayman. Nice blue and green tree monitors, and a lot of different monster fish. Nice, that sounds great. It's also a dream of mine to visit your store. I'd love to see your blue tree monitors in real life and also see Rex. Judah, this is awesome. I hope you're able to re the, meet the real Rex someday and I will hang on to this uh, for sure. That's super cute. Maybe I'll have to like show it to Rex. It wasn't spicy. It wasn't spicy? No. Ah, see? No big loss though, I didn't have to eat it. Okay. You do have to try this one though. This Thank is... you, Judah. This is rose black tea. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try that one. That one doesn't it's sound spicy. It's got peanuts in it too. Huh, okay. So it's a German chocolate, is what I was reading on the oh, back really? while you were talking. Oh, there's like a salt element. Yeah, that one was actually sweet for some reason. Mmm. Oh, no, no. It keeps changing. <laughs> it was sweet, then salty, then a weird flavor, and then back to sweet. Oh. That's not bad. It's amazing how tiny those pieces were and how much flavor they have. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Something about Arlington. We're not doing Arlington. Oh yeah, we are not going to the Arlington show, guys. I met you in person at Arlington, Texas. My name is Rain. Oh, I was with someone now. named Maple. Oh. Gave you a letter with a wax stamp. Oh, I remember that. Yep, I remember that too. What are you grabbing? A beer. Oh, sweet. I mean, a carbonated a beverage. Can you grab me and carbonated beverage as well? Yes. Yes. Great, great pop. Yep, we're going with that. Wait, I needed, there was an, a weird aftertaste to that, that chocolate. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, yeah. Grape soda. It's awesome. Okay. I'm going to open from Amy you in Texas. Advice on raising a blue tongue? Oh, it's an Amazon thing. They're really easy to raise. Blue raising tongues. a blue tongue skank? Yeah. They grow so fast they and they eat everything. Yep. I would recommend introducing them to veggies at a young age because they, the babies that were born in our zoo, which have all been rehomed by now, they definitely preferred the grain-free, good quality dog food. And to get them to eat other things like vegetables, you had to sneak it into their food. So kind of treat them like a tegu because that's what we do with our tegus here too. Or beardy. Or beard dragon. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, so this, I think there's a note in here. This is, oh, Maureen. She already sent us something. She sent us something else. I recognize the name. Oh, yeah, she sent us these, if I remember correctly. And so she also sent us. Oh, yeah, Marine, I remember Marine. Oh, I wonder if she saw. We have that, uh, uh, the wish list, the Amazon wish list for our rescue. Oh. She may have. I bet that's what it is. Oh, Marine. These are, uh, these are dominant, though. So this is different. These are awesome little dishes. Oh. Okay, so this is okay. So this Wait. is from the company that she bought it from. There's a feather test in here. I a have to find test? it. Okay, yeah, I will gladly do another feather test. No, no where's the feather really test? Cool. These are perfect little mini-like salad bowls for beardy dragons. That's cute. That okay, is awesome. 
I will find a good use for these, for sure. Thank you, Maureen, for sending another goodie to us. That's, that was really, really nice of you. Oh, Can I, I don't see the feather test. Oh, there isn't a feather test? No, it must have fallen off. Is it in the envelope or something? No, I looked there. No, Bummer. Oh, do. I have this. Oh, wait, maybe this is it, because it says luggage tag. Is there a feather in here? No. Oh, look at the bookmark. This is from Hannah in Australia. Wow, there's a lot of Australia packages. And we haven't used Patricia yet. I won't break it. This isn't one of the packages covered in duct tape that is justifiable to open with the machete. Okay, so Hannah says we've got, ooh, 2024 Western Australia calendar. That's cool. Nice, this could replace your inappropriate shapes in nature calendar for this year. Oh, yeah, what no. is it? Western Australia. Is it inappropriate? No. It's not inappropriate. It's actually very tastefully done. I like it. We have to do the um, art calendar for next oh, year. Oh, we do have to do our calendar. Yeah, we, we're, we want to do one. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. We'll probably send some anyone who buys a calendar for next year with a calendar that came out this year. Because we ordered way too many calendars. It's crazy. Way too many. So, yeah, if you... Just a heads up, when our 2024 calendars come out, which should be in, like, October. Should I have to yeah, do that then? Yeah. Uh, the first however many until they run out orders will get 2023 calendars. Q, too. I will give Cheyenne one of these nuts when we get home, just for that super chat. Mm -hmm. Yes, listen. She's not, I don't know if people are here that heard it, but she's oh. at home because we were gone in New York till yesterday, essentially. We got back in the morning, and she was here for five days, and we just felt like she needed to go home. So she's yeah. home, we didn't decide her to bring in. She's probably just sleeping all day today because I know her. She's a lot like me. If she <laughs> could, she could just do nothing and sleep. It'd be amazing. She would love to just be a perch potato all day. Okay, so this is all from Hannah. We've got, there's a plush in here. Oh my gosh, it's a kangaroo with a, <laughs> with a boomerang. That is the most Australian plush I think I've ever seen. Okay. So Shen sent this package, which is, Full of Ooh, foliage. Foliage. Nice. A couple of notes. She sent us a handful of other cool little goodies, oh, including cool. these two sweet pins. There we go. Yeah. There uh, you I'll go. I'll watch the screen. And then. Oh, those are really cute. A bookmark it's that's a got charm. a little, got little things on it, charms, and then some stickers. And that one looks like Emily in the morning. It's crazy. Oh no. I She's, feel like it's this just is like a... her. Oh great! Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty accurate though. Okay, that's fair. I have from Hannah, in addition to the kangaroo plush, we've got some sweet Australian stickers. Love it. Oh, look at Is that a kinkajou? No, that's... Fan mail can come to our awesome. address here at Snake Discovery in Maple Yep, just Google Snake Discovery in Minnesota and the address will pop right up. That's where fan mail can be sent, if you so wish. You don't have to send us anything, but if you want to, you could. These, I think from Hannah, are little name tags we've all got brad we've got joe janet rex oh man the fan favorites look at that peanuts in there sabelle nearly headless snake these are really cute veronica okay. we know there's a oh i didn't hold any of those up i'm sorry there you go i should have held it up higher we i was looking at my hand he's coming to wisconsin we know exactly where it's going to go in wisconsin I can't wait. we are going to go by there almost three times a year. Mm -hmm. It's on the way, it's literally off the highway to Tinley. Yeah, she has been geeking out about it since she learned about it. We like went to the plot that they're planning on building it. Yeah, we found the plot to look yeah. at it before it becomes a she, Bucky. She may be trying to reach out to Bucky's. If anybody knows Bucky, you know, <laughs> the, the, this guy, if they know him or anybody who works for him, we would, it would be cool if we could go and like film a video before they're opened about like helping kind of thing. That yeah, would be kind like of cool. Working at Bucky's yeah. for a day. I have no idea how we would contact them or who, but if anyone has an in, I would love to work at Bucky's for a day before their grand opening. That would be such a fun video to do. Hi, Kyla. I'm glad our videos are helping. Let's see. This is a box that appeared in our office today actually what's your either breeding or zoo wishlist reptile this is an awesome mug i just want to say that right now this is really cool um breeding or or zoo, zoo? yeah what was your wish list tuatara tuatara we don't i know <laughs> 
we, we just need an air conditioning. Yeah, we just, just need air conditioning the, the entire exhibit. That's yeah. fine. That doesn't seem hard at all. We have seats in all the exhibits. Why not an AC unit in one of them? Yeah. So yeah, those are the same thing. I would love. If not, then I guess I would settle for a Komodo dragon. That would be cool. Yeah, right? That would be really cool. <laughs> good question. Good question. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in this box. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to read the... Oh no, something broke. Okay, I'm uh, gonna... Let's see here. Wait, just a second. Uh, Gorgi? What is the person's name? George? Where'd you go? G-O-R-G-E-R-A. Uh, the best way to convince your parents that reptiles are amazing is do your research on them, bring them to zoos, get them exposed to the yeah. animals, desensitize, just desensitize them. your parents, and then mm -hmm. prove that you're responsible if you're looking to get one. Mm -hmm. Prove you're responsible, start with something small, that you like, like if your parents are afraid of snakes, yeah. lean towards uh, lizards. A lot of people aren't as afraid of lizards as they are snakes. That's so. true. I always like to re recommend print out a cute picture of a hognose snake and sneak it into your parents' pants pocket so that every day is, every day a different picture of a cute hognose snake it's always hognoses that get people over their fears and every day sneak a different picture into their their work pants so that when they're just fishing through for something they pull out a picture and after enough days of that you know it's just kind of a cute fun thing to do it's harmless but that might start you know <laughs> planting the seed so I've never told anybody that, but I've it always, funny. I've always wanted to recommend doing that. Like anybody, of snakes and yeah, pants. in the pockets. Yes, I think it's a great idea. If it works for anybody, if you try it, and it works. Please let me yeah, know. Yeah, let us know. Uh, we got a chewy oh. box from someone. We got some bird like chew toys oh, for gosh. Cheyenne. It's like the corkwood stuff. Yeah. We oh, got she'll love this. Another sweet Cheyenne toy. We actually had to take down the Cheyenne toy in our office because she pooped all over it. Yep. And we had a meeting with one of our employees, and the entire time I was watching her like sit right under poop, and I was like, It was on the toy, but yeah, yeah not, we not threw Elise. out the toy. I'm sorry, Elise. <laughs> but yeah, we threw out the toy after that meeting. Yes. So we're like, oh, Cheyenne pooped on that one. Ooh, we got like a labyrinth toy like thing maybe we can try something with that with the snakes that's a cool idea yeah, it's like a slow feeder huh instead of putting a paw in they can just stick their face in it and we got a massive thing for rex oh my gosh is this a tough enough yes oh yeah she yeah. can uh, yeah, there. i wonder Jesus. yeah i think that's gonna be tough enough for rex yeah, i think that'll work maybe hmm Maybe nope. when the Rex stream we'll goes up again, yes, there you go. We will give that to her on the stream. I'll make a post on the community tab when the stream is live again, and I will let you know like at a certain time we are going to give that to her so you guys can watch it happen. Thank you to whoever sent that chewy box. Thank you so much. That's awesome. They're all things that our animals are going to love, yes. and that's actually a toy she can use too. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's nice dense rubber. That's perfect. Okay, I have a card here from a sweet card from someone who this box came from. Let's see. Um, from Clara, uh, dear Ed, Emily, and everyone at Snake Discovery, hopefully this isn't too hard to read, but I couldn't find my lighter gel pens. Your channel has brought knowledge, laughter, aww. Uh, I am but one of the fans. Aw, oh, you are very important, and not just one of them. Uh, but I wanted to share some of the same positivity back with you all. This package is a collection of awesome things made by local artists and small businesses. I've included business cards. Oh, oh, nice. There's business cards too. Okay. Uh, the black mug with the Python handle is from DeWall's Forge. The mug wrapped in paper has a cool snake on the side and is from Glazed and Confused. Okay, so we're going to try to find the cards in here. Maybe I'll open this in front of the camera so I can show you the cards that came with it as well. Let's see. So here is the sweet... Uh, I'm gonna watch the camera this time. Here's the sweet snake mug. Look at the colors used in that. Wow, it unfortunately did crack in shipment, but I wonder if I could just seal it with silicone or something, kind of fix it. That's really cool. I love the colors. That's gonna go right on top right there. We have, oh my gosh, there's so many things in here. Okay, we have this. Look who I found. Oh, the sunburst. The sunburst. People. Oh, we're back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here he is. <laughs> He, uh, he was nosing me like he was going to eat me. That's also why I didn't bring out the uh, why, sable, because <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to get eaten. But oh. here he is. He's doing great. Yeah, that sable that a fan bought for us, yeah. she wants to eat everything. 
Yeah. She launches with her mouth open oh, yeah. at you. She you... just opened the door and she's like, ah. Yeah, she's been great. Yeah. But yeah, he's doing good. He's doing really well. Lots of people were asking. Yeah. So. He's growing. He is. <laughs> two years. Two years. Yeah, two years and he should be ready to go, yeah. you think? Yeah, probably. Let's see. This is a macaw from, do we have a business name? Hopefully I can call. Um, does not look like, like I can find. If I do later, I'll show you. Looks like we have a luggage tag or some sort of tag. That's adorable. A little blue and gold macaw. Looks like oop, an emerald an emerald tree boa. One right here. And then we have, what are you? Oh, a ball python. That's cute. Yeah, these are all like epoxy-ish tags. I really like it. We've got, I think, a sulcata tortoise there. And we have, oh my gosh, a hog nose snake. Yes, I love it. I love it so much. Cute. Okay, I'm going to try to find who made these and give them a shout out. There's, oh, ha. And one that says, I break for snakes. Okay, we have a little box here. This is, oh man. We have to start rapid fire doing some I know, packages. I know. There's just so many amazing things. Looks like we have a ribbon here, a cute snake ribbon. I'm going to try to find some names. All right. Uh, we have, are these all the business cards? You guys have the good luck turtle I gave you. Good luck turtle. I think we unboxed yeah. a good luck turtle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we unboxed a good luck turtle. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's some names. Oh, that's a really pretty sticker. Ooh, I like that design. Oh my God. Nice. Somebody send us that. Here we go. Look at that. So look, we've got my birthstone is a coffee bean. Sun catcher. Oh, it's a sun catcher. A window sticker. Sun catcher. Ooh, okay. Made, I assume, by this person. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to bring this home and use this at our house. That sounds sweet. Unfortunately, this mug did not make it. Aww. Oh I no. Can, yeah, I wonder if I can catch it somehow. That's quite broken though. It's really it was really cool. There's a snake as the handle, but yeah, it did. It did break here. But yeah, look at that. That was a really cool mug. Wow. Alright. So oh, there we go. Oh, so here. Isaiah and Jennifer sent us a handful of questions. Thank you so much for these goodies, by the way. And chocolate, chocolate. Look, we got some Lindor chocolates. We got some build rope airheads. Air I've never seen that. We'll have to give it a shot. Either. Got the million dollar bar chocolate. Oh, and nice. they sent <gasps> white cheddar oh. blue box macaroni and cheese. That is awesome. That is the first time we've gotten mac and cheese through the mail, and that's amazing. However, it's not expired, is it? I don't think this is going expired. Okay, this is this is our dinner for tonight. All right, we need milk though. The the best mac and cheese we've ever had. If you can get your hands on it, I think this was from JP and Julia, but I could be wrong. Uh, I think it was JP. Yeah, yeah. They did a mac and cheese off basically, and the Kraft and Barrel. I think Cracker Barrel. Is it Cracker Barrel? I thought it was Kraft. Okay, Cracker Barrel. Uh, white cheddar mac and cheese. It's like a white cheddar bag that you you just boil it and then you put this bag in there and just stir it up like Velveeta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing. It was really good. Yeah. But they sent a couple. What are your favorite video games? Ooh, favorite Pokemon. The Pokemon just handheld yeah. Pokemon games. That's Those probably still ones. number one for me. Well, it's gotta be. Halo. Halo. Probably Halo. Halo. I know the yeah. Halo series. I usually get really deep into them and then I just kinda. I get bored of first-person shooters. I can't do the same maps over and over and over and over again. But, uh, do you think chocolate-dipped packing peanuts should be a thing? I think the, the packing peanuts are edible? Yeah, I'd try it. I'd try it. It'd probably yeah. be bland because they're just like they're like Cheetos without the dust that and make it taste good. Dissolve in your yeah. mouth. They're not even yeah, slightly less crunchy Cheetos. One of them is like Logan. Here's a couple. Here's a couple of jokes for you. Oh, great! <laughs> what was Google Snake coded in? Python! Oh, you got it! Yes! And why does everyone why does everyone love turtles so much? Why do everyone love turtles so much? Because we like to celebrate mm, them. That's a good one, but because they're so cute. Oh, cute! Oh, I love that, that one's one. probably gonna make it into a uh, a program. A program. Yeah, we'll have to tell going. Logan about that yeah, one. Yeah, okay. I actually somebody else mailed us a whole list of corny jokes about reptiles, awesome. and I saved it on my desk to show Logan when he comes in. I forgot to do that today. I was just gonna hand him the whole list and be like, here, have some more ammo. Okay, this is a heavy box, very heavy. Where is Mansfield, Texas? And it has been in our office for a while. 
Um, it's not pre-opened or anything. But what is, oh my gosh, it's books. Wow. Whoa. That's cool. Whoa, a lot of books. Old wow. Cricket, okay. We've got A Salamander's Life. Rip away to ultimate reptiles, reptilopedia. Oh, I haven't heard of that one either. That's cool. These are all books. Holy cow. Turtle Spring. This is crazy. Look at that. everything you need to know about frogs. It's oh, I remember it's mine from my childhood. Wow. So every time we're in the south, uh, this is going to oh my gosh. Sophia. Every time we're in the south, we try to go to Waffle House at least once. We do. It's my, uh, what would that be? Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure, yeah. yeah. We, I like, see it, and we're like, yeah. we need to go there. One time we went to a new one. Yeah. It was crazy. They just it opened. Tasted it tasted slightly different. It was clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel as guilty going into it. Wow. Okay, I don't see any notes in this one, but whoever sent us a ton of herp-themed books, this is awesome. So something I've always wanted to do since opening up this classroom is have like a weekly library. Well, we did the library and nobody found it had interest yeah, in it. Sure. I want to do like a weekly kids book club reading. Oh, thing. like a reading event. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where you know you, you spend it's little kids, so yeah. it has to be Free short. Free to the public. Free to the public. You just come on in and we read a kids book to them because it's like reptile story time. Or maybe thing. free to someone who comes in from the zoo. Oh, so free with the zoo? Yeah, free with the zoo edition. Sure, or like if you have a season pass. Oh, yeah. like, yep. Something like that. But yeah, I think that'd be really cute. And it'd be a good way to get kids into reptiles. And then they get to check out the zoo afterwards. So I don't know if they'd be interested in it, which is why I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. But I've always wanted to do that because I think it'd be really cute. So this is a box from Charlie. Uh, he's got a few questions. He sent a bunch of stuff, but he's got a few questions for me. Where was I born? I was born in Hudson, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. The same place we currently live, because I apparently don't like to move anywhere out of sight. I live literally probably I was thinking a quarter, half, a quarter mile from where I was born and raised. Yeah, so, our yeah. new house is a quarter mile away. <laughs> do I have any siblings? Yes, I have one. I have a, an older sister. Mm -hmm. uh, and do I believe in ghosts? Not really. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Our new house kind of has a ghostly presence every once in a while. Well, not enough to convince not me. Not enough to convince, exactly. There's yeah. a, there's like light switches that are motion sensors that just turn on. And it's really creepy when you're in the basement and you're like sitting there by yourself and it's dark and all of a sudden the bathroom that's right here just flicks on and you're like... Yeah, that's weird. No. Well, anyway, Emily, do you believe in Bigfoot? <laughs> A Bigfoot? Yeah. I do not believe in Bigfoot. I haven't seen enough proof that he exists. To feel like him. this trail camp. We would have seen him by now. Yeah, yeah. What dragon from Wings of Fire is your favorite? Glory. The rain wing. Absolutely, uh, yes. His is Clay. Oh, Clay's a good one. Glory okay. or Starfight. Starfight. Oh, okay. Oh, you have the good choices, aren't you? Uh, what is your favorite animal that is not a reptile? A bird. That makes sense. There you go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. He sent us these sweet drawings. One of them is Cheyenne. Aww. I'll let you pick and see which one you think it is. I like her little wings. <laughs> yeah, I like her spotted chest. Aww. Like she has that many feathers. Yeah, she has two. She has pasties. Because she's a modest girl, so she has one feather here and one feather here. Charlie sent us a $2 bill. A $2 bill. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. He also sent us some uh, Costa Rican Ooh. coffee for Emily, I'm sure. Cool. So, oh, it smells really good. Coffee candy, which Emily's gonna have to try that now. I will try that right With now. That. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Coffee candy. We got yes. some little figures. This is a heart oh, wow. candy. This is like a made in Mexico alligator. Oh, cool. Woo! There's meat sticks in here. Mm. Also, if anybody, oh my gosh, if anybody, that's your favorite. Yeah, if anybody's sending us packages, those were cool. Like. Send us random questions. Like, do you believe in ghosts? That's a question we've never that even asked. That's awesome. That's yeah. an awesome question. Some beef sticks, oh some twin God. snakes. Wow, he's some tree for from... Cheyenne. Wow, Charlie, you went all out. Charlie knows all of our favorite uh, things. Some mineral blocks for Cheyenne, I'm oh, guessing. <laughs> wow. What's this? Yeah, I think you're Cheyenne a treat. A chocolate tear flyer. Chocolate tear thing from Wyoming. Oh, I'm oh, guessing that's what this is. There's a bag of chocolates in there. Yep. Oh, God. Meat to knees chocolate. So this candy? It's going to take an hour to eat. You're going to go spit it out? I am going to spit this one out. There's a whole bag of them. 
and I'm going to use those at work now. It's just going to be awkward having one in my mouth right now. They're very good though. Thank you, Charlie. We got 66% dark chocolate from the Meet Denise Chocolatiers from Wyoming. I think they're melting chocolate, but maybe not. They're good. With dark chocolate. Where'd Allie go? She's sleeping somewhere. Allie! And he also sent us a brownie. Allie, where did you go? I feel like this brownie is no longer good. <laughs> is oh, it like yeah. a homemade brownie? It's not, well, it's from this chocolate company, but it. Oh. Brownies aren't supposed to make that noise. No, they're not, are they? Doom, doom. Doom, 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 I found her. She's sleepy. She was sleeping Sleep under the table, and the camera does not want to focus on her face. Oh, there she is. There you go. Oh, there she goes. Lick the camera. Lick it. Lick it. Yes. Oh, it's Ellie. She's such cute. Okay, I'll put her back to bed. Thank you, Charlie. This was an amazing gift. Yeah, Chocolate thank you, chocolate. Charlie. That brownie one a little bad. And I won't eat this, but Cheyenne will. Yes. She will love the treat. She will destroy it, if nothing else. Thank you, Charlie. Coffee and... I can't believe... That was really nice of him. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, so that was a good gift. This good is... Gift. They're all good gifts. They are good gifts, yeah. yeah. People, you guys are... People are very nice. Very generous. Yes. I still can't believe... Every day, I'm like, oh my gosh, another package. I just, I just wake up and go... Wow, there's people that for some reason want to follow you, and I'm that just is... associated with that. 1800 people who are watching us open gifts like yeah. guys you're so nice and so supportive we would not be here without you I, we will forever be thankful for all of your support this is from barbara in oh wisconsin oh, cool. green light green light wisconsin oh, i don't know that city okay let's see this is oh my god oh it's a wisconsin local candy company they're caramels in here Wow, okay, and there's a note in here as well. Dear Ed and Emily, my name is, oh, Kenny, and oh. I am nine years old. My grandma and I love watching your videos. My favorite animal is Rex. My grandma's favorite is Cheyenne. Thank you for taking such good care of all the beautiful animals. Love Kenny and Grandma Barb. Thank you, Kenny and Grandma Barb. P.S. My little cousin's name is Cheyenne. Enjoy the caramels made in a town near us. These are from Depeer, from Saroogies cool. in Depeer. Oh, okay, so. cute photo. Somebody just asked us. I can't wait to try these. Uh, nice. I can't remember. Oh, where did his name go? <laughs> no, I gotta search well, for it now. No, it's gone forever. Okay. Sorry, dude. I, I did. Save. I thought it started with an M, like Manuki or something like that. Oh, but yeah. I could be wrong. Do you believe in aliens? Alien? Yeah. We can't be the only ones. Yeah. I don't I believe don't aliens alien. are here. You don't like, think so in no. Area 51? No, I don't think there's anything like that. Okay. But I believe they're out there. Mm -hmm. You know, our system is too big yeah. to, to be alone. Yeah, exactly. Just open. Kenny and Grandma Barb, thank you so much for the caramels. I'm going to save these, I think, because they're big caramels. I'm going to save them at least for the ride home. <laughs> yeah, you could try one too. Oh, those are going to be like they're going to be really amazing. Chewy. And I don't want to like over shadow over them. Yeah, over exactly. Like because they take a while to chew, you know. So I got a box and it said to me for oh. the enjoyment of everyone else around me from six-year-old Roxanne. And mom Jessica from Midwest oh, Minnesota. No. It's pe oh no! I got so many clicky pens. Ugh. I am so happy right now. Let's see. Got to turn them all that right is there. So many. They're the wrong way. No. Okay, I can do it. It's two layered. There's a dividing layer in here. I just threw a bunch of them on the ground. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? Great. That's gonna be. The rest of the evening. Great, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much for sending us pens. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. The right side will never have to buy pens. That's true. Again. Yeah. Okay. That that is true. And I got my dad a Father's Day present now. <laughs> I and I got it. my mom one for oh, your I dad. Oh, my dad. This is that, one. Is that your mom? My favorite child. Oh, your my dad. heart dad. So your stepdad. Oh, that's what the other side says. Okay. And. We are set with all our parents. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the pens. There's so many pens. Do uh, a click dance pen. Or do a click, a click pen dance. dance. Oh no. Is that like... <laughs> okay. That's the I would assume that, snake you know. discovery pen click dance. <laughs> there you have it. 
It's him debuting <laughs> the new dance. Yep. We're gonna move on. Pen. We're moving on from the pens. <laughs> Get rid of the pens. I, I feel like throwing the pens out and just be like, pens. <laughs> but also, yeah, we, we have to clean up this room before we go home. Yeah. It's already almost 10, yeah. so. <laughs> this is from Sampao, I think, from Washington, D.C. We'll see. This is a stuffed box. Oh my gosh, is there a letter that I can read? No, it just says, please. And Aww. Emily. What does this mean? And there's a hat. Oh, okay. Hat says, LV dares you to give me a kiss. Ah, ew, cooties. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, thanks. Tried I had to, to sneak. I tried to do the thing where you kissed my lips. I didn't mean to look disgusted, by the way. I love kissing you. <laughs> just want to mention that. I didn't mean to look like, uh, because I do love this man. <laughs> she okay. doesn't. Yeah, this one's for you. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I get a little note. There's very few words on these packages. This one just says Emily, and this one says please. <laughs> so we're going to find out. And a hat. That, that looks says, like a sweet hat. It does look like a sweet hat. Yeah, it says dragon, and it has a dragon on it. I guess I'll open the, I assume, a shirt. I wonder if my hat is large or extra large. Oh, my gosh. oh it is. Nice. Oh, dang. That's a great fitting hat. Nice. This is, wow, there's two shirts in here. Huh. Occupy Mars? Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that means. No, I'm gonna have to look it up. Maybe somebody else can look it up while we do the stream and let us know. Is starting a breeding business at Occupy age 11 Mars. bad, or is plan on launching at yes. 13? Uh, um, it's, you know, start breeding at a smaller level. Make sure that you're interested in it first. And then, oh, this is SpaceX stuff. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Wow, okay. Yeah, if you're looking to get into breeding, breeding, do it for the love of the animals, yep. not for the profit. Yeah. Because at least at first you're not going to make a profit, or you'll you'll barely break even. But if you enjoy the process, what? my head was just a blank piece of paper. Oh really? <laughs> There's nothing in here. Oh my god! It's just an it. it was a trick. Aww. Oh. Oh, you know what? That was in the hat. Oh, so I bet okay. it was just labeling the hat for that you. Works. Okay. I wonder if Dra Dragon was probably one of the spaceships that went on. Oh, you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. If I was reading chat, it's probably somebody has told us by now, but... There's so much tape. Yeah, it's not from Bad Dragon. Bad Dragon, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is... Sad, that is sad. This is the one that says please on it. Space Exploration Technologies Corp is who made this. This is an authentic SpaceX product designed and tested for in interplanetary transport. What? Okay. Uh, women's Mars. Okay, I'm putting it on. Hang on. All right. Oh, and it's a sweatshirt of it too. So okay. we both got a shirt and a sweatshirt, I assume, or is those both yours? Um, let's see. It's too small. This one is. I can't tell. Hang on, I'm gonna put mine on. I, there's no notes in this one. At least this isn't it, is it? No, that was from Grandma Barb and Kenny. Okay, so there's no Barb. note. Hang on, let me. My grandma on my dad's side is sending us messages? Oh, no, not that Grandma Barb. That's Barbara. That's Ed's. Not crazy Grandma Barbara. Okay, we are going with crazy. I wasn't yeah. sure if we were gonna say that. Term. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, I'm I going... love my grandma. I just don't see her. Yeah, yeah. That's she my was... grandma that's still with us, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And, recently... and thank you. Somebody just said sorry for the loss of your grandma. Oh, yeah. This one's also yours. It's small. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the, the support. She was uh, a good person, and but now she's with my grandpa. Yeah. So, you know. I'm just glad that we got a video with yes. her in it. Yes. I think it was recently an egg. It was the uh, rat snake eggs? It was the it was uh, elements. elements clutch. Yeah. You got yeah. to see my Uncle Kenny, my Aunt Tammy, my mom, and my grandma all in that video. Yeah. I don't know where my dad was, but he wasn't there. He was probably distracted by the animals. That's true. Too. That also, like a cute story thing. for anybody who is interested in this. She, my grandma, made my grandma and grandpa both wanted to come out and see the facility. They live in Michigan. Yeah. Live in Michigan. So their like bucket list item was to come out and see what we had built out here. My grandpa unfortunately didn't make it, but my grandma really tried once everything, once my grandpa had passed and everything. So she was able to make it up here for a weekend. It was awesome I get that final memory with her. But one of the things I'll never forget is her sitting, she sat at our turtle tank for like three hours yeah. just watching the turtles. Yeah. It was to the point that I was like this close if I knew like 
she had much, much time to live, I was going to buy her a turtle tank and just put it in her house so oh she could pay God. attention. But, so she could watch the so turtle. So she could watch the turtle. But, put a little stink pot in there. Yeah, put a little stink pot, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. But it was, yeah. it was a good memory. It was a good one of the last memories of her. So whoever sent us the SpaceX shirts, this is sweet. Yeah, I, this fits perfectly. I love women's size small. Space I will X. wear this. Like, it'll be in my daily rotation because it's comfy and awesome. Okay, this is also a hoodie. I'm checking to the size to see if it's a U. Yes, so they are spacecrafts. They shot in space. We're called the dragons. The dragons, okay. Yep. Huh, so I wonder who sent us these? Wow, it's a nice hoodie, too. This is a... Maybe Elon did. Oh, it's a small... Oh, maybe Elon. Yeah, maybe he just sent it. <laughs> he's a huge fan of space discovery. <laughs> Yeah, like he's I'm, seen our videos. I'm just gonna go with that. We'll pretend. Yeah, we have yep. a musk turtle called Elon. Yeah, we do have an Elon musk turtle. Thank you so much, whoever sent us these. I can't wait to add these to the rotation. I'm gonna set them over here so they don't get like buried. Okay, there we go. Don't want chocolate on the shirts. Thank you very much. I already love the shirt. Nice. Now I'm gonna have to like familiarize myself with this so if people ask questions, I know what I'm talking about. All right. And grab another package. We have probably 10 packages left. Yeah, so we have to burn through these packages so we can be done Seven, with them in our office. Oh, wow, yeah, we're way past yeah. time. We'll get we'll get through them. It's going to be a longer stream, guys, but you're still... You can leave if you how want. How many of you here? There's still 1,800 people oh my here, gosh, so... Guys. This is... Do you want me to go first? Or do you yeah, want to go sure. First? This, okay. is, this is... I think it's... Um, Jumping spider enclosures oh. that somebody sent us to try out. Yeah, really? they totally are. Here you go. Oh, cool. Oh, like from the business? I'm thinking so. Yeah, it's awesome. all over the place. Uh, do, 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 do. My five year old daughter and I have watched oh, the channel cute. for years. She is the reason we started this business. Uh, my yes. daughter started asking for jumping spiders. We began making our own enclosures and designing supplies and accessories, which turned us wow. into opening an Etsy store, which ended up designing and manufacturing enclosures of our, enclosures of our own. They were great for jumping spiders, but also all kinds of arboreal inverts, small geckos, lizards, etc. One thing I made sure to design is the small enclosure specifically was the fruit flies couldn't escape through the vent holes. Oh my gosh, you're right. They would not escape from that. We've noticed there's a need for this in the market, or a need for these in the market. It's been amazing and beyond rewarding to have a part in this niche market. Wow, We'd okay. love to be considered as a vendor for your store slash online. Okay, we'll reach out. Yeah, I really like these. Ooh, okay, so... You can go to their Etsy store, which is Arachnophiles A Anon. So Arachnophiles A-N-O-N. Anonymous is what the sticker says. Yeah. Arachnophiles Anonymous. You can check them out. Yeah, I really like these because they have a ton of ventilation, but it's a front opening enclosure, so jumpers always make their webs at the top. They have a monster jumping spider. Like, I'm Do covering they? up the daughter for... Obvious Six, reasons. Obvious wow! Reasons. But look at that. The, that's that like a tarantula. Yeah, yeah. That's like a tarantula, yeah. not a jumping spider. Wow, it reminds me of Gordita, the one that we had. So yeah, we'll reach out. Uh, we could use those little enclosures. These are adorable. And they sent us a bunch of them. They close so. really well. Like, it's a solid enclosure. Okay, Arachnophiles Anonymous. They're in the game now for invert habitats. I really like those. And now we, with these and the magnetic. Uh, jumping spider hides that, uh, oh, that video hasn't come out yet, but we got some at the Schomburg show. Oh, yeah. That's coming up Friday. We got some really cute jumping spider hides, and maybe I'll have to, I need a jumping spider again now. So, sweet. Thank you so much, guys. We'll be in contact, because I would love to carry these in our store. These are nicely built habitat. Fruit flies, I don't think they can get out of those holes. Nice. I mean, I would guess she tried them. Probably, if she has a jumping bit. spider. Awesome. Okay. We'll set these aside. Yeah, uh, she might be a new vendor. Okay, from Xavier in Oregon. This is a fun looking envelope. Look at that. Okay, Xavier has sent a box. A box with some tape. Oh, what's in here? Okay, we've got bubble wrap. Let's see, it says PS chocolate is for Emily, gummies are for Ed from Xavier. We've got a note here. Oh, is there art in here? Oh, it's a note! Okay, hi, my name is Xavier, and I am almost four years old. Yeah. I love your show. I have learned so much from you and Ed. I watch at least one episode per day. My favorite animal at your zoo is Chloe, the snapping turtle. You are really nice, and you're awesome, Emily. <laughs> oh, 
I have even made a Wii character that is you! Oh, nice! From Xavier. Oh, and here's little Xavier's signature at the bottom. Cute! What theme would you do for a black milk stick? Or a Mexican black paint? A theme for a name? No, like a theme for the enclosure. Oh! 25 gallon. For a king's snake, I would do a Deadpool theme or a Ooh, Skulls a theme. I'd do a Spider Man. Of those you're supposed to just like really yeah okay i'm gonna try it so somebody sent us these there was no name, name. it was just a company oh but they sent us a ton of chocolate biscuits and honey hot fudge sundae honeycomb crisp that sounds delicious everything bar potato chip crisps wow. drive-in california berries and coffee crunch okay you guys have to tell me what two we should try on camera okay. while Emily's doing that. And the most amount that I see, we will try. Okay, we will try those two. So Perfect. go. All right, I'm going to try this jelly straw, which looks awesome. So you're just supposed to like slurp it down? Yeah, you just slurp it up. Okay, I'll try. Mm. Whoa, it's like jello. I thought it was going to be like honey consistency, but it's like jello in this thing. Ooh, oh, it's really good though. Everything. Mm. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna show you the packaging because this is delicious. In case anybody has tried one or wants to try one, I would highly recommend it. It's like jello in a straw. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go with the everything and the potato chips. Those are the ones that I saw the most. That potato chip caught that one. Caught my eye. Okay. And the everything bar. Mmm. I'm gonna save the rest of that for later. You're supposed to just like Thank you, Xavier, for all the goodies. I was savoring it. Yeah, you're supposed to just like like the whole thing. That's too much. My mouth is too small for that. I'm savory. Okay, so of these, we're gonna try the everything bar, and Emily's got the potato chip bar. Yep. So we're gonna give these two a shot. How do I open it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I got the golden ticket. <laughs> okay, you just. Okay. That's when oh, you open it like a wow, Pokemon so... card sleeve. Yeah, as long as you can keep everything still together. Okay. Wow. Whoa. That's what the everything bar looks like. Okay. This is really good chocolate. So that's the everything bar. What does the potato chip bar look like? Um, I didn't realize we were taking the whole thing out. Sorry. Uh, it's really good. The potato chip is really light. I can't open it. Oh, they're freeze dried marshmallows. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, Lucky Charms. Okay. Here. Huh? That's kind of boring looking. Yeah, there's lumps from the potato chip. It's really good. It's what you would expect. Oh my gosh. This is like a childhood. It, it, a, a chocolate bar that encompasses all of your favorite childhood things. There's sprinkles, there's marshmallows, there's chocolate, yeah, and there's something pretzels. crunchy. Pretzels. Pretzels. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are amazing. Okay. So if wow. anybody wants to try a good, good chocolate, from what I can tell, Compartes, C-O-M-P-A-R-T-E with a little thingy on and an S, Chocolatiers. Wow. That is a really good, really good wow. chocolate bar. Yeah. So the, the potato chip one is good too, but this one, okay, I have to show you the logo, I guess. In case you need to Those look it up. We're going home with us, not sharing with staff. Yeah, we're not sharing these with staff. Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, that is an amazing bar. It has so many good flavors. Okay. Done. Sorry, staff. We're taking it. <laughs> That's ours. Those are delicious. You know, okay. So, Jennifer sent us a, oh, a Slack saying, Thank you for everything you do. Sorry to hear you about the loss of your grandma. Mm -hmm. I lost my mom who enjoyed watching you guys. She'd come oh. out. Uh, asking me if Ed and Emily were on yet. Aww. Aww. So glad we could put a smile on her face yeah. while she was here. I'm sorry for your I'm loss so sorry. as well. It's been a tough year. Yes. <sighs> yeah. 
Okay. We need to rip through these packages so people can go to sleep. Okay, so one thing that was just dropped off randomly, a snake stick. Snake rain stick. Yeah, a snake. Oh, that's right. It's called a rain stick, isn't it? Yep. Okay, snake rain. A a snake stick. We've never gotten a grown tube. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we never right. gotten one of those. We have not gotten one of those. Now we're gonna get a bunch. Now of them. we're gonna get a bunch of them. But huh. <laughs> on that same note, we've never gotten a silver double French horn. Oh, weird. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Emily played French horn in high school. So. Yeah, it was just too expensive after high school for me to continue because I couldn't afford my own. All right. Uh, this is from... No name yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's that... What's that say? Mailbox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got a note here. This one. Hi, Ed and Emily. My name is Alexis, and I love your videos so much. My mom follows your channel and I love it. Uh, uh, something about words popping on the screen. Oh, the captions, nice. Cool, thank you. Thanks, Alexis. You can have it on a break. Oh, something on here I can have on a break. Oh, I wasn't expecting, is this? Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. It's a Perry Puzzle Box. Did it? Oh, it's oh, supposed okay. to go together, yeah. yes. That's Really cool, and then you just you just open it like that. You can put treasures inside. What am I gonna put in this? I mean, I feel like treats for Cheyenne. Actually. Oh, that's a good idea. I could absolutely put Cheyenne treats in here. That would be appropriate. Okay, I like that. Thank you so much, Alexis. This might be Cheyenne's new treat dish. It's super cute. <laughs> wow, and thank you for watching our videos. I'll set this down there for now. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. So I have a box from Katie, who is currently a nursing student. Um, oh, nice. Way to go, Katie. And they sent along some of their new project they're going for, which is a oh, print. Oh, Vista print? It's, no, it's something, so something from this. I don't know where this is. went. They're buried. They're gone. Yeah. Got it. I use there you go. Well. And you have that mini knife that yep. somebody gave you, which he uses all the time. So it's little cards that have like name, species, age, available on adoption fee, feeding schedule, wow. accurate. So you can just use these and like slide them in to tell people what. Like here, I'll let you go show That's them off. That's cool. Whoa! There's even a feeding schedule type. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is like. This is everything that we need on our cards. Holy cow! Okay. Yeah, so this is this would be like an adoption card when we take in a new surrender. This is all the information, assuming we get it from the previous owner, that we put down on currently pink ID tags, and then we slide them into Pokemon sleeves, and they go home with the animal when it gets adopted. Focus. Focus camera. But this has everything on it already. Huh. We might have to switch to these, depending on if we can write in small enough text. Yeah, if we can fit the text on there, that might actually work. But they sent, she sent that along, and then she also sent some stuff from her mom's uh, businesses. Oh, really? Like some... I love this. Goat milk lotion. Oh, interesting. With pink salt. Some bath bombs. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, bath cool. Bomb. It's like a Fruit Loops bath bomb. Oh, some caramel popcorn lip balm. Oh, wow. And oh, then gosh. some chocolates. Milk chocolate <laughs> sea salted caramel. Oh my gosh, these are all like local business things? For, it's her mom's businesses. Oh, she, she makes all of yeah, them? Yeah, her mom retired and started these. So oh, okay, I'll show the card. Looking for that. Yep, or, absolutely. Gotta that. Mo Southern chocolates. Mo Southern chocolates, okay. Oh, thank you, Katie, so much. I think your phone battery's about to die because the oh. screen is really dark. Okay, I will go grab a charger. Okay, so we've got goat milk lotion. We've got lip balm. Caramel popcorn lip balm. We've got a fun bath bomb, all made by Ellen Claire Soapery. Definitely go check her out. Support a small business. That's really cool. It smells really good too. Like everything smells good. I have not smelled the lip balm yet. Let's see. This is all gonna go in here to keep it together. And there's a. Oh, weird. It does smell like caramel popcorn. Okay. Yep. I don't have. Oh, I do already have one. I always keep some sort of chapstick on me. Oh, it's Burt's Bees. Yeah, that's. Old news. Okay, now it's Ellen Claire Soapery. Sweet. Thank you so much. The chocolates are awesome. These cards, we're gonna have to do like a, a test run 
because we always get adoptions in. We're gonna have to trial, do a trial run, I guess, for maybe a couple of weeks and see how well they work. But it's, these are exactly the same things that we include on all of their cards, so I don't see why it wouldn't. The only thing would be the size of the font. But these are awesome, and I love how they're colored, too. Thank you very much. I will be reaching out if this is something we want to stick with permanently, for sure. Ed just came in with an extension cord, and... Oh, I think my phone's dead. Oh, no, it's still going. It's still going? Yeah, it's barely hanging on. It probably has, like, less than 5% of the... Yeah, I meant to do this earlier. That's okay. But this will fix it. This is from Lauren in the state rubbed away. Okay, this is from Lauren. Lauren in the state. Uh, somewhere. Uh, oh! Oh, it's a swing! Next. Yeah, we're live Hi. again. Okay, live and the phone's plugged in. Yeah, we were Sweet. all the way down to 3%. We almost 80%. lost it. Yeah, wow. Well, it's been doing live streaming. It takes yeah. a lot of energy, I guess. Hey, Ed and Emily, my name is Lauren. I am from California. I have watched all of your facility update videos that I wanted to go ever since. I tried my best on the logo. Oh, is there, oh, flip? I don't know. There must be a logo in here. I hope Cheyenne likes her toys and treats. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a Q&A too. Oh, here's the logo. Oh, I've got a logo with some of our oh, animals names on it. Cute, and their own names. And oh, cookies, birdie cookies. Cheyenne loves these. Like these are a special treat for her, but she loves these, man. Oh, and then there's also a little bird that Lauren made too. That's super cute. And then we've got a little note here. Oh, it just says the money isn't a lot, but it's for Rex or the snakes. Even I wasn't even gonna like mention it because I don't want to encourage people to send money. But since I saw the note, Lauren, thank you so much. You didn't have to send money. I promise, though, it will go to Rex or the snakes. Maybe I'll get Rex a special treat this Saturday on Anya here. Uh, Q and A. In your opinion, what is the easiest snake to care for? Corn snake. I was gonna say a ball python. Yeah. Because they don't poop as much. But they can they also take, you know, if they don't eat, that's they, where that's I kinda true. leave them. True. For Ed, what is your favorite snake that you guys have? Uh Crunk, my green tree python. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And last question, on a scale from one to ten, how hard is it to care for all of your reptiles on a daily basis? Thankfully, it used to be really hard. <laughs> it used to be a lot of work. Thankfully, we have an amazing team of people who help take care of all the animals collectively throughout the building. I will say, when our previous curator uh, left and I kind of had to fill in and take care of our entire private collection, it was a lot of work. But that's because I had them to take care of, plus my like like normal filming our, my normal job. <coughs> and you were out sick that week too, yep. so I did your job as well. Yep. So it was a lot of work, but. If it was just reptile care, I get in the zone and I really enjoy it actually. I really do enjoy just going through and taking care of reptiles. I find it zen. But yeah, cool. Thank you so much. Great questions. And if thank this, you for the treats. If the screen is blurry, generally refreshing the page takes care of it. Yep. Um, we have some fan mail from Violet and Scarlet and their mom, Kristen. Kristen. Yep. Okay. Uh, they have a couple questions. What is Emily afraid of? Not working would be my guess. <laughs> yeah, not working. What am I afraid of? You're still slightly, you, I wouldn't say you're afraid, but you give a professional courtesy to venomous snakes and tarantulas. You need to have yeah. your time to work with them, more unless so, you know them. Yeah, more so tarantulas than venomous. I've gotten a lot more comfortable with venomous snakes, except I wouldn't deal with anything, like rattlesnakes, I feel uncomfortable with. But you're comfortable in the fact that you know what you're doing and you're still going to give them the professional courtesies. Yeah, that's true. Because they are a very dangerous animal. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. There's a little drawing I don't know what I of them. I'm afraid of, I guess, bad things happening to our animals here at the store. Yeah. Like, my worst fear is a fire. That honestly is my worst fear in the world. Yeah. Well, that's why we have a sprinkler yeah, system throughout the entire system. building. Yep. That's why. We spent, I think, seventy thousand dollars, and that was a big portion of that loan. I think it was eighty something. It might have been eighty uh, to install a sprinkler system throughout the building, just in case something were to happen. Because that helps put my mind at peace. And then Kristen's mom, or their mom, Kristen, owns a apparel company, and they oh sent you this dress. I 
Okay, so that's where that went. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a story behind this dress. This is, first off, an adorable dress. I love it. I'm not a huge dress person, but this is something I would wear because of the print. This is super cute. And actually, it looks like it would fit, too. So, a girl had her birthday party in here, like, okay. I don't know, six months ago at this point, which kind of dates the package. Mm -hmm. And she was wearing this exact same dress. And then she went... The, the, the group went into the zoo and I asked her, where did you get that dress? I love the fabric. And her mom said somewhere on Etsy, I think it was. Yep. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll have to look it up. And then it just so happened that this box with all the fragile stickers, we were worried there was a live animal in it. So I, I peeked inside of it just to make sure. And no joke, I had just come back from talking to that girl and I saw this dress, the same exact dress in the box. I'm like, no way. So, yeah, that was mind-boggling to me. So here it is! I told so, myself I couldn't actually use it though until we opened it up. I'll also, it if you guys are interested in that, her Etsy shop is that. And if you use the code SDFANS, uh, 10%. Discovery. And then I loved it. And now, there's this. That's, that's just crazy how small the world it is sometimes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Maybe our next, if we go on a cruise again, there's Elegant Night. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's this elegant. This could be my elegant night dress. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I love it. Definitely, guys, go check out Somebody the Somebody said, yeah, total magic school bus vibe. That is totally ah! a magic school bus vibe. <laughs> it really is. I could be Miss Frizz. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, love it. Okay, this box, we're getting close. Yeah, we only have a handful more. I'm going to try and whip through these as fast <laughs> as possible because I want to go home. This one we is still have a, a lot to do. themed box. Uh, but there's no note. It, oh wait, no, there's no note. It's all Montana get goodies. Oh, it's Huckleberry themed goodies. Oh, well, we got a Huckleberry themed box once. A long time ago, yeah. yeah. This is Huckleberry chocolate, and we have chocolate taffy. That's Huckleberry. I think it's Huckleberry chocolate is my guess because there's Huckleberries on the sticker. And oh, never mind. This is chocolate taffy. That's chocolate taffy. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna try the delicious. chocolate taffy. Actually, no, I'm gonna try the huckleberry too, because that's that's what Montana seems to be known for. is huckleberries. I'll just I'll have to bite it in half. Okay, yeah. sounds good. They smell good. Did you know huckleberries grow on a tree? What? I think that's it. Really? That's weird. Like in a bundle, a bushel of huckleberries. Now it could be some other fruit that I'm not thinking of. Maybe I don't know. That. There's a lot of different types of fruits out there, right? Yeah. Okay. Ed loves taffy too, by the way, so this is right up your alley. Mm. That's good. It's Ooh. good taffy. That's the flavor of huckleberry? I did not know that. Mmm, I don't know how I would describe that. It's not blueberry. It's not blackberry. It's definitely fruity, but it's its own flavor for sure. Wow. It's like if you combined all the berries together. Kind of has elements of each one. Hmm. So we got a package here from. Thank you, whoever sent this. Lucy from Minnesota. This is awesome. Oh, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Our employee, Lucy. I Aww. don't think so. But they <laughs> they drew you. these cool vote photos. Yeah. This one's upside down. There we go. Um, they sent us a bunch of Pokemon stuff like this sweet Rayquaza. <laughs> Mm, that, that is awesome. Oh, it does move. It is fanatic. Nice. Wow, yeah. his arms move. A Wobbuffet and a uh, Bulbasaur. Uh, War Turtle? War Turtle. Nice. And a Charmander. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And probably some very old caramel delights at this point. But <laughs> we can still try them. Thanks. Or Samoas if you live in different regions, I guess. They're good until September 1st, 2023. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're still nice. good. This is my favorite Girl Scout cookie. Yeah, they're totally some OS. And a bunch of Pokemon cards. Thank mm. you. Thank you, Lucy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love the work ways up. Yeah, that's awesome. That is really cool. I'm my desk later today. Wow. Let's, you can add it to your 3D printed YouTube. Yeah. Hmm. That is super cool. Wow. Thank you very much, Laura. Yes. I'm still trying to clean my teeth from the Huckleberry Taffy. Yeah. That is really cool. He's yeah. gonna go. Right here, he's gonna be buddies with the cobra. Okay, yeah. this is from Kaya in Hawaii. Like wow. our boy? Yeah, I get wow, our intern. Yeah. She made it all the way to Hawaii. All right, Kaya sent oh, Hawaii goods. Ooh, that Whoa. makes sense. 